Okay, so who is going to do the recap? Uh, I'll do the recap. No, you shut up. Okay. Uh, I think Aaron. <laughs> I think I did, did it, it last Aaron time. Aaron did it last, and yeah. Tori did it the time before that. So I guess, Julie, it's your turn. I'm trying to remember what the hell happened last time. Oh my god, it was like a week ago. No, I'm like, I, I, I'm, I was struggling with that too. Like when I did my recap, I remember what happened, but this, let's see here, last time. Okay, so we, we we ended the time before in the wilds, right? And I think we correct went back to town and healed, and then went back into the wilds, and um, were we were like hunting more griffoxes, and that giant ape thing was luckily not near us. True. Starting to ring a bell yet, Julie? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, mostly I just remember that. Obviously, we were destroying wildlife for a while, and then we were. Oh yeah, and then we we were collecting money for two different missions. Turned out great. Got a ship. That was exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh. Wait, you guys have a ship? Yeah, we have we a got ship a now. Ship. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, well, technically, we got it like before we left Zelenia the last time because like. You know, you've done so well that here you have your own ship. You can just kind of go wherever. Yeah, guys, like, we loved we fast travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we totally did. Um, Fancy. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a few random things. Okay, well, so you did stuff on Lorcash involving taking things out for some quests. Right, and... we had, like, the burnt-out lady who was like, yeah, get rid of the giant, like, like crab face things. Oh well, that's that's, that's, on, to... that's Lustra. That's where you went to yeah, afterwards. That's yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we dealt with tentacles. And apparently, wait, what? you like have one on the ship now? Oh research. yeah, there was like, some <laughs> some like little creepy child that like wanted tentacles. Cause they are funny. No, because they're pretty. No. That's what she said. <laughs> sure. I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> Yeah, and then Anna got a tentacle. Well, and... conveniently, yeah, Anna decided that she tapped into some inner potential and could use tentacles to like restrain people. Yeah, and, and my character got a tentacle. <laughs> you know, we offered some to Elden, but he politely declined. Uh, he did. Party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, he's got his big his big toy now. Yep. That's right. Okay. Uh, so there's that, but, and then uh, yeah, we 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 killed the monsters that that salty bitch wanted us to kill, and then got paid. And something happened. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. The drink machine like reappeared in our ship. Yeah. Uh huh. You have that in your ship, and then, well, where are you going in your ship now? Oh, we also visited this um, angelic place. Like, I forgot what it was called, but that was one of the other random events. Yeah, someone finally rolled a 10 on the transit <laughs> events. And we have... Uh, I think we are... Hmm. We have bonuses for like until like for until the next time that we sleep. Or right. Like... <laughs> so okay, let... I'll be honest. The, the recap sucked. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, teacher does not approve. <laughs> no. Um... Oh yeah, well... and then Elden was kept saying, kept doing a great uh, <laughs> Alice Chad impression and. You know, your impression singing. or a great yeah. chat impression. Oh, oh, oh it's Alice. Yeah, Alice Chad. Oh, oh, Alice okay, sorry. impression. Oh, you were ahead of me on that one. Okay. Yeah, he was. You know, he kept piling the empire as his custom. Piling the empire, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, piling the empire, like, or you know, like for the for the empress. Yeah, you know, and, yeah, for the glory of the empire. Yeah, no, like he would get on routinely like just spin out of his on tangents about the glory of the empire of the Selenian empire you know as is custom I thought, right i thought it was for a, barely in character 
Uh huh. Proceed. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to talk because because apparently you don't. You guys aren't doing this very well. Uh, <laughs> I, wasn't able to last, like, I know. I don't blame weeks, you. Okay, so, so okay, so 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 after Nereid fucking died, uh, y'all went to sleep, and uh, the next day the new party member was introduced. Now. During this time, just for balance sake, I had been sort of playing Chad for, like, combat. Um, but I think it makes more sense if we just sort of retcon it that Chad just, like, wasn't with the rest of the team during this time. Um, okay. So we can still have a formal introduction between Chad and Julie's new character. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that works. My yeah. logic is that Chad was, because of Chad's, uh, let's be nice and say, mental health history, uh... <laughs> um, they wanted well, the, the correct term. the The military wanted to sort of like keep an eye on him for a bit, uh, and so they sort of kept him on Zelenia. Um, while, uh, yeah, so your team did get your own ship. It's not super fancy, but it's you know it's a way of transporting yourself from one place to another on your own will. A um, couple extra things that people got. Let's see, Elden got a spy camera thing that hasn't really had a sense to. Uh, haven't really had a use for it yet, but don't forget that you have it. Um, Thanks for reminding me. And, I have it in marked my character sheet, too. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's that. Um, and... Oh! Aaron at one point got... Or Anna at one point got a... Basically a drone that is a stand-in for a divination scroll. Yeah, it was so weird that I don't even know like what to do with it. But I have written weird divination drone and I have it. Yeah, so <laughs> that's a thing that you can use uh, at some point. So don't forget you have that. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh yeah, so even though I'm like recording that Chad like, you know, wasn't with people, you're still, I'm, I'm not gonna like, I'm gonna say you still got like money for the side quest and you also did the uh, experience stuff for traveling. So, yes. and I didn't, I didn't notice it was on the bio of your character sheet, so I have it written in, like, where did I write it? Uh, under the, oh, in the, in the top right for under personality traits. I, so you roll, I wrote in total you rolled 50 for oh, experience. Wow. So, oh. yeah, I, I saw, you got survival, you're at 76, I see. So I practically already have it. Well, yeah, so you do have it, so that's max, and you have 26 points left over that you can put to whatever the next thing you want to put into. Ooh! So. Spec Ops! So we're gonna do 26 for stealth. Okay, so awesome. yeah, you can change that, keep track of Dragging that. Dragging our average up, because I always roll single digit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Elden, like, was kissing one of the bats. Um, mm -hmm. And then, oh, and then also Anna started working on Tr tr uh, experience for dealing with the book thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I finished medicine and I'm nice. starting to read some of these pages in the book, but literally it kind of looks just like one of those word clouds where there's a whole bunch of words that are intermingled among e amongst each other without any coherent links is the current state. So we don't really know what it's about. Yeah. Um, and Anyway, so the last we ended the last session basically about to show up on Kofaria. Um, basically, you uh, you have some now that you've established some diplomatic ties. You actually have some side quests you can do there, and also you can just kind of check out how things are going now. Um, and this transit event for that was again the was someone finally rolled a ten. And so gameplay wise, basically, I had it. I have it so that until the next long rest, which also includes the next time you just like transit to another planet um you have advantage on everything yes um and the, see, now even though i'm right counting it so that chad is like wasn't with you uh we'll just say that he somehow had the same thing happen to him so you get it also um we're all spiritually connected yeah that wow. said great of course you could still fail because you know in uh advantage is not everything and also this does not mean that the enemies therefore get disadvantage right so if, right. You, if there's like a spell attack or something and they have to do a save then they still roll normally um so we all have to remember basically that like you have advantage until ne the next long rest um and again this is combat skills everything um yes. let's see uh anything else to mention 
Um, oh, so my thought process for this, for what Chad is, for Chad, and again, Michael, you can change this if you want. My thought was that, um, again, he was sort of kept on Selenia for like, I don't know, a couple of days. And then um, Hera, I guess, because like, okay, we should like sort of reunite you with your team. Um, and maybe she could, and basically she sort of tracked the, uh, the ship and noticed that, hey, you guys are going to Kofaria. Why don't I just sort of send Chad to Kofaria? Kind of to meet them there, um, so that was my thought, and I guess my I was thinking that Chad could have maybe like like already actually shown up, but maybe like just been there for like an hour or even less, so we kind of just got there. But sure. know, it's up to you if you want to change that. So okay, sounds good. Sounds great. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, at the moment, you so the three of you, um, Anna Elden and. Uh, Julie's character, who I'm going to be coy about their name just for a moment, um, are in your ship approaching Kofaria. So, what's the plan? Well, let's review the quest log as like for what quests are available on Kofaria here. Mm -hmm. okay. So our goals on Kofaria looks like there are a few things. So yeah, Anna's like uh, mind mindlessly just she's just like casually scrolling up on the data pad. She's like, "All right, Kofaria quests. Well, there are of course some of those acquiring samples from some of the exotic wildlife. From what it looks like, we're looking for some Paggle shells, some Oblast cores, and some Sturg spines. They seem familiar, and I don't know. They kind of remind me of potentially." Some of those creatures that we skip by um, when we're trekking up the mountain to infiltrate the Scutum garrison. Oh, like the like the nice bunny looking ones. I think so. Uh, I don't remember any bunny ones, but uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than the bunnets. But okay. Yeah, new wildlife that's endemic to Kofaria. Then there's also a transport that we need to do. Um, from Kofaria to Entia, but I guess we can pick that up when we're ready to leave Kofaria. And then I guess we should check in on S. Yes. Because um, I wonder how he's been faring ever since, you know. Um, well, yeah, he's yeah, it's like hardcore PTSD from like his, yeah. <laughs> you know, like the just ship crashing and you know, going through the wilds with us and dying and like, five times, <laughs> right? Like being one of our, like, uh, be like the, the sole, like, non mind controlled, like, Kafarian in, in on the planet. And, you know, like, all, all of a sudden, like, he arguably brought the saviors of Kofaria. And, uh, so I wonder if he is reigning supreme now. Yeah, he always he's, seems he's not important. So he like really downplayed himself. That's the thing. I feel like he Anna says, I feel like he hides his emotions very um I mean, he always like maintains like a neutral expression all the time, but mm -hmm. deep down given everything that he's been suffering through, I mean, mm -hmm. he's probably had to feel some sort of trauma on the inside. So I do want to check in and see how S is doing. Okay, well, we'll go check in on how S is doing. We'll, and then we'll go get those shells, and then we'll do the transport quest. Is the, did I miss anything? That seems fine. All right. And so last time that we came into Kofaria, did we, we docked kind of like right next to S's um, house, I think. Yeah. Is that someplace we can find again? Mm, well, as you're approaching uh, Kafari, you get a transmission um, that says, incoming vehicle, please identify yourself. Mm, security. We really <laughs> need to come up with a name for our ship. Um, <clears throat> Is this like a verbal... <laughs> that's a good idea let, 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 let's let's it's keep been the, said you know what yeah we'll, we'll think about it um 
Is, uh, was it, um, let's see, Zerini, uh, Zelenian Squad, Craft, um, uh, yeah, 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 um, um uh, coming for, like, coming to for social slash, like, social slash recreational slash business visit. Send. Who do you wish to meet with? Yeah. <laughs> the guy, was, but yeah. Who was on the travel log? Travel log? Or the mission. Oh, okay, yeah. If we can't remember his name, well, we can just choose one of these. Do we want to do... Choose any of the following. S67R8, S67K5, S67H2, or S67V3. Um, I kind of like H2 because, you, you know, hydrogen and stuff. Well, yeah, but I think, I feel like our like our politician had K5 at the end. Okay, oh. sure. <laughs> I don't we'll trust that. We wish to visit uh, yeah, no, put it down like, that was it A cas wait, SK57 uh, K5 uh, <laughs> he like puts down like the <laughs> translate that. Okay, I'll I'll be nice and have you put down the right name. <laughs> this is yeah. this is like a Wait, bam bam one? situation all over again. <laughs> <laughs> which one are we putting down? Uh, apparently. Uh, wait, I just closed it. Uh, S sixty seven dash K five. Okay, yes. Yeah, that's someone we saw in the data pad. Okay. But I got it right, yay! Like, I didn't know the whole thing, but I knew, like, which one was which. We know it's at least a person. Okay, yes. there's, like, a little bit of a pause, and then it's, like, accepted. <laughs> and then, cool. uh, it just says, please, please arrive at these coordinates. Alright. It locks you in to a, uh, well, you descend, and it's the same kind of, you know, environment as before. Um... It's still. In oh yeah, of... we, hmm? we should tell our we should tell our our new friend. Like, hey, so, so we um make sure you put on like cold cold weather clothes because it's freaking freezing in this planet. Yeah, su yeah, Sudoku. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, um, because this is this is a lot colder than like you know your home planet and. Way colder than the planet we were just on, so um, yeah, that's uh, yeah. So we're heading on over to the. Mhm. Mm yeah, let's meet this client. Mhm. Mm <laughs> mm. So, again, you end up heading down towards the surface, and again, right back down to that same, uh, very uniform sort of city that you were at that's mm -hmm. saying as a light dusting of snow. Um, mm -hmm. You do end up kind of, again, you end up uh, being sent toward, again, sort of a, a larger sort of rectangular building that has the roof sort of slide out, uh, away for you to sort of mm -hmm. land inside of it. Cool. Yay, our ship not getting pelted to death with snow. Noob. <laughs> and um... Upon your uh, once arrival, uh, and you step outside, and you actually see Chad there waiting for you. Hey, Ch like it's Chad. Hey, Chad. Ahoy. And the elder will go over. How's it going, buddy? Whoa, Chad. Where'd you come from? Zelenia. Oh. Oh, awesome. Well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how you doing? Alright. Alright, How about Excellent. yourselves? Uh, mm. Doing good, you know, just murdering an an innocent animals uh, for money. You know, just, you know, like you do. But hey, we want to introduce you to our uh, new companion. Um, new companion, eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. well, well, I mean, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, like, well, like, we're really, like, <laughs> crew, crewmate. Um, General Hera uh, assigned her to us and she thought she'd be a good fit. Uh, Chad, this is Sudoku. Sudoku, this is our really good friend, Chad. Wow! 
Oh, I have no idea who that is. Likewise. Uh, but I do know what it might be. Friend. <laughs> well, Elden, it looks like you're not the rook anymore. <laughs> Yay. It's true. Yeah, if you thought I was so, sort of like haphazard military, she's a whole other bag. But she, but she, like, but she's in, she's there when it counts. So that's what matters. Well, Have you been here long? Determined. Not too long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Been here for uh, the past few days or so. Why do I have twenty in constitution? Oh. Uh. Wait. There was a thing. Didn't you get a thing? Uh -huh. I'm not complaining. We can keep no, it. No, 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 no. You hold on, hold on. Okay, I remember the, for this. Um, there was something you got. Um, that it gave you sort of like an artificial boost, so that when you rolled strength, dex, or con checks or saves, it was like an extra amount. Oh damn! That sounds. I good. forgot what this was though. Hmm. I want to say this was actually the, well, the Space Santa gift. Oh, it was Space Santa! I don't remember I what it act, the thing was, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, pew, Space Santa. pew, pew, pew! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, <clears throat> back in character. So you've been reading the Constitution, Chad? Beg your pardon? Oh, never mind. You just looked healthier than before. Possibly. Right. Any? Well, that's good. Oh yeah, just let us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let us know if you need anything. And um, anyway, have you seen our good friend SK the the say K five? Can't say I have friend. Well, All right. Well, we're a while. gotcha. Well, we're gonna go. Vi well, our plan was to go visit him, see how he's holding up. Is there anything he needs, and then we're gonna go hunt some more innocent animals for money, and then <laughs> we're gonna do a transport trip, which always goes well. Um, mm -hmm. You have your guns loaded? Always. Great. Yeah. Alright, everybody, I... let's... Oh, I was gonna <laughs> ask, Michael, have you seen Sudoku's character art? Let me go check. Well, sweet Mother Teresa on the hood of a Mercedes Benz. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Just one, too. To, to get a better idea of what you're dealing with now. I'm dealing with a cat girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a friend. She's stylish. She loves the police. Police are our friends. <laughs> Just proceed before I have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? Did you, was that recorded? Good, because mm -hmm. I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Mother Teresa on the hood of Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It's not mine, though. I got from a thing called Attack on Titan Abridged. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I really love that series so far. Anyway. I'll have to check that one out. Okay. Alright, well, then I think we proceed over to the uh well I mean, is everyone else waiting for us there or is it just the four of us on the just docking the four bay? Of you. okay well and i guess we uh seems a bit forward but we can go let's go to the uh, living quarters of uh our friend politician okay um <gasps> he said friend <laughs> uh we use the term friend loosely uh, well, I mean, but but Sudoku, when you see him, you want to give him a really big hug. He likes hugs. <gasps> Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> so as you sort of step out into you know the street, the streets that you've uh, definitely seen before, you know these mm -hmm. very white, plain, geometric streets. Um, mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know, make a perception check. Why not? Yeah, perception check. <laughs> Cube. My perception. 14. I perceive things. Oh yeah, I forgot everything. Remember, everything is advantage. 
21. Oh, yeah. So yeah I'm going to have to constantly remember this, because I'm going to keep forgetting. Yeah. I'll constantly remember uh, I, I will remember it. And everything I do. Alright, what's higher? Oh, 23. Alright, 23. Sweet. Oh my Whoa. god! What was that? Something's lower. Wait, are you still, are you still in the same house? Yes. What are you doing? What? I dropped my textbooks! <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. It was I thought on the just table and they slipped off. Okay. Oh. Did they do that? I thought you were making cornbread and there was something going on with the oven. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that no. would have been... <laughs> If we could hear that, that would have been disastrous. I think we would yeah. have to cut the session. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so upstairs. the kitchen's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Six. So, Speaking of the kitchen, baby. Well, no, it's advantage. Oh, 14. I let every single one of you rolled higher for the second one. Yeah. It's really <laughs> handy. Every one of you, <laughs> yeah, took a advantage. Okay. Uh, well, um, so 14, 14, 21, 23. Okay. I mean, you know, everyone, you see... You know, the, again, same type of place you saw before. Well, I mean, Sudoku haven't seen this before, but whatever. Um, you, you as a person know what this area looks like. Um, that said, you do see that there is some actual people uh, out, out. And, however, they do seem to be... Mm, what's the word? They seem like they're, they have a have missions to, to complete. They have work to do. They are very clearly going from, you know, one place to another place. There's clearly no just, like, loitering around. Everyone seems to be, you know, ha has a job to do. And there's not a ton right. of people, but there's, there's a, you know, it's not like it's empty. There's a moderate number of people. Well, yeah, look, my looks, no, it looks better and more purposeful than last time. Mm. So, um, and the, uh, the quest thingy, um, basically points you down to a small dwelling, uh, uh, a little bit down the, down the street. All right, looks like we're going towards this square building. Anna approaches that building. It's a building, like all the others. Wait, okay, can Anna make yeah. some sort of roll to check, is this person the K5, is this even the same person as the the one who is following us? <laughs> uh, roll intelligence. Okay. Because <laughs> Anna trusted Elden, un but we'll take a look. 21. Uh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> What? And with the 21, I'll say, I'll, I'll just tell you the name. The name of the one who's following you is S67K0. Oh, you're so close. All right. Uh, okay. At least I understand now why I was thinking, like, K, like, why I thought, why K was like. No, the, I, I, I just thought it funny because you sounded so confident in yourself that K5 was the same person. Well, it was. <laughs> I actually <laughs> thought it was, yeah, I remembered K, so I was like, hmm, it could be. Um,. Hmm. But Anna will say, right as she's about to knock, wait, okay, are there any decorations at all on this building, or is it literally just a blank white square building? Blank white cube. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, okay, Anna's just like, wait, something about this doesn't seem right. Are you sure this is the right one, Eldon? Eldon, thanks. I, I thought our person was K0. I mean, I never say that out loud, so I don't know. But we need this person anyways. We need the K5. Why? For uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the data pad quest. Okay. Like, we'll need them both. Okay, got it. Alright, so we'll talk to this person since we're already here, and then we'll go see our friend. Mm-hmm, yeah. Sudoku, uh, um, maybe, sorry, like, sorry. we don't know this guy as well, so maybe not. Let's hold off <laughs> on a hug for him. Give all of your hugs to K0. Don't worry. My friend always told me to respect people's personal boundaries. <laughs> Unless uh, they're bullies, then excessive <laughs> force is necessary. Uh, I, think, I think I know who your friend is. All right, let's knock. 
I'm gonna pull Elden and uh, on the side. Mm hmm. I like this one. No, oh, Elden's eyebrows go way up. Really? <laughs> Very surprised, but pleased. That's good. Because she's sticking around. <laughs> Make no mistake. She's no near it, though. No. Elden says, her face kind of going solemn for a moment. No, that? No, no one else, No one could be near it. I'm just imagining that, like, they look over at her and she's, like, extra chibi with, like, gigantic eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah, no, no, she is not. <laughs> no one could be near it. Uh, she's like staring up into the sky, and like a little piece of snow like falls on her nose, and she just like sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> right as on as like she's demonstrated aptitude on the battlefield as well. <laughs> ah, spicy rain. <laughs> <laughs> spicy rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so right okay also on the quest thing you see that there's actually uh sort of a new a new button that actually says like um request drone oh okay. I, I yeah i do not know exactly what this does and if it just opens up a method of communication between the two but why not press it? Anna presses it. Okay, you press it and like instantaneously the door like opens right in front of you and a little sort of like, well, a small-ish sort of drone like pops out and the door closes behind it. And here, I'll put a picture. In. <laughs> Beep. Uh, yeah. So the drone comes out and... And says, and, and says, um, let me think the exact wording. I got excited. I thought he was wearing a little top hat. <laughs> oh, no, it's like oh a little, yeah, <laughs> that's a little like light, thing. light up there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it says, um, requested artifacts not detected. How may I assist you? Requested artifacts? Well, requested Wish to know what re like, requested artifacts are. Ah, Anna's like, oh, so looks like this drone is to collect what we're supposed to acquire. So if you look here, the data pad with S67K5, we're supposed to get an Oblast core. Mm -hmm. um, and, well, seems like our client might be too busy to even walk to the door. And so they might be having a drone to do the collection for us. Eldon's kind of frowning, like, um, I mean, like, well, I mean, if they're working on something like maybe fixing a ship, then I could totally understand that. All right. Uh, Anna will say, like, well, I mean, the technology is super cool, but this could also explain their complete, you know, monotone behavior in all social situations. Ever socialize? On and on. Okay. Knowledge nature. How do <laughs> the Kafarians procreate? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you There's want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. Procreate. Uh, I yeah. okay. Let's see. Consider okay, twenty five. Well, hold on. No. Okay, considering that these are Kofarians, not part of the Empire, I would normally give you disadvantage. So Ooh, I'm gonna okay. give. I'm gonna say you have the fourteen. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I will say you. At least because you and you see some like passing by you on the street or whatever, and mm -hmm. they all look the same. They don't. That you don't see any sort of like sexual dimorphism or like anything like that. They just have like the same sort of build, the same body. Um, so, uh, <laughs> as sort of an inference, again, you don't know this, but you're like, hmm, maybe it's, like, some sort of cloning or, like, artificial, like, uh, you know, reproduction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds... All right, let's, uh, figure out what our... All right, let's, uh, let's go see if we can find our friend. Uh, Drone, your assistance is no longer... Re is not... Yet required. We we will return when we have acquired the 
requested items. Acknowledged. Drone immediately turns around and heads back inside. And <laughs> Even I'm... the drone seemed busy. <laughs> well, I mean, at least it waited nice, nice enough for me to ponder my world-altering question. All right. Well, let's go find K zero. Lead on. Can we make a roll to try and recognize the path from Kazer? Because, like, we've exited that building, so we might know what the streets kind of look like. Mm. I guess either survival or perception? Survival. Ooh. Nat 20, I slipped right outside that door. Yeah, you did. So if there's any place with, um... <laughs> well, it's snowing, but if there happened to be a place with a giant hole where someone might have slipped and fell... <laughs> that'd be helpful. <laughs> well, I don't... Uh, well... You mean the place where we got ambushed by the, uh, Scootum? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we were trying to stealth, but I totally fucked that one up. Ah. And I shot you in the foot. Uh... Whoa! <laughs> Why are you rolling death saves? <laughs> <laughs> and then... And, and you then failed then all of them. <laughs> no! <laughs> of <a> heart attack. <laughs> I guess so, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Those are terrible deaths. Sudoku just fucking dies. <laughs> no, she, no, depending on how the ruling is at this table, she died with the first two rolls. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I, well, so much for survival check, but okay. Oh but, shit, I didn't realize I was rolling death saves. What the hell? Yeah, that's what we were saying. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Chad. No, what? Who did I? <sighs> It would explain why Julie C is above all of the death saves. Yeah. God, that's me talking to all my professors at this point. Anyway! What, death saving? Yeah, those are my scores against all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so are you rolling survival or perception or not? Uh... I rolled survival already, I got 23. Yeah, I On the higher that. roll. Yeah! Wait, what the hell? Computer, please. Okay, 16. Okay, okay. um... Uh, so again, you guys, you know, you're at least... Well, first of all, you do see the sort of large building that you sort of saw before when you were here. Um, and if you remember correctly, that was the Sort of some sort of like governmental uh, building that Hera sort of mentioned before. So, sort of logically, you would think, well, the other, you know, S67K0 was a politician, so if they were to be somewhere that's not at home, they would be there. That um, makes sense. Wasn't yeah. And. Homer work. Um, that said, though, Anna, um, with the Nat 20, you happen to also sort of glance by sort of the mountains where the fort was before mm -hmm. um and just out of the corner of your eye you think you see a ship that sort of like leaves like moves up from the mountains and sort of disappears up in this up into the sky did it look like any of the models of ships from zelenia you do not recognize the ship mm. and wait sorry this was near where the garrison was on the mountains? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Anna was like, whoa, 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 real quick. I don't know if you guys saw that, but in a, there was a brief second where the garrison that we were up on the mountains, there was a unidentified ship just leaving from there. Didn't... Oh, shit. I couldn't... It didn't look Zelenian, so... Something's oh. going on. Something. Yeah, well, I guess we'll have to go investigate that shit. Mm-hmm. I mean... 
we all we went we got rid of the mind control crystal but we never knew what happened to the scoot em outpost that was there like probably they were still there they might still be there the kofarians are like so mind controlled huh meet our giant robots <laughs> Yeah, for all we know, they could still have that outpost. Hmm, well... Wait, so what do y'all think? Alden says, turning to the group, should we go investigate the fort and see what's going on there? Or should we go to the government building and see if we can talk to our friend who might know what's going, going on? Probably best to go see if our friend knows what to do. Or not what to do, if knows anything about the base. Mm -hmm, they I might have that. further information. Yeah, so rather not go in half fast again. <laughs> uh, that's true. And remember, and pop quiz, everybody. When we are sent to retrieve a mind control crystal shard, and we defeat the person who has it, what do we do? We pick it up and take it with us. All right, good job, everybody. Everybody gets one hundred percent on the on the pop quiz. All right, oh let's go yeah, talk to our yeah. <laughs> So oh, Eldon's going that. to lead the way over to the government building. What'd you say? No, he, I'm, Chow was just going to talk to uh, Anno and say what was he on about, because we don't know you like left it there, remember? I think. Oh, oh right. Yeah, 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 yeah. you just ran there. Like, you were like, oh, be right back. He <laughs> ran. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Anna just shrugs and she's like, uh, he had some business to do in that moment. <laughs> he probably needed to go to the bathroom and he couldn't find a place. <laughs> oh, it's next level trust right there. That he's like, yeah, something to do in the enemy base while we were trying to escape. We just had to wait. All good. <laughs> right. Anyways, let's find K zero. Okay. Yep. So you're heading over to the large government building. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. So uh, you head on over there. Um, and as you head over, you do see, like, instead of just sort of one, you know, big door in the middle, there's sort of, like, a bunch of small doors kind of on around, like, the entire wall of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and you see, again, some people sort of going into those doors, coming out of them, you know, there's definitely movement and hustle and bustle uh, around the location. Oh. Are there any signs outside of any uh, doors? Nope. Well, I guess we just go in a door and look, see if they have like a reception desk or something, and then we go find mm -hmm. K Zero. Sure. Or wander around aimlessly, either one. The first one, probably. Probably. Okay. So, what do we find when we walk in the door? So you pick a door, you walk in, and you find yourself in just, like, a really small, like, cube of a room that kind of just <laughs> barely has space to fit all of you in it. And there's <laughs> basically what? nothing there. Um, but the door closes behind you, what? and then a voice says, Query. Query of... We're looking for the office of S67K0. De destination confirmed, and all of a sudden the room basically seems to jolt, like, in a certain direction. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Free eleva elevator ride. Yeah. It, it ends up going, like, up, forward, sideways, like, multiple directions. What? <laughs> what is this Willy Wonka bullshit? <laughs> um, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. No, amazing stop. chocolate tea. Uh, <laughs> 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 um... And this whole thing is, like, really quick, and it's, like, basically, like, ten seconds, and then it suddenly stops, and then, um, it opens, and, uh, it opens up to a, honestly, not very much bigger room that has, uh, S67K0 in it, uh, and he's sort of, like, well, he, they, whatever, uh, standing over, uh, a, I think I said he before, so I'll say he, um, standing in front of, basically, this, like, very, well, Compared to him, remember, he's rather small, uh, large computer screen, and there's, like, tons of text that's basically, like, scrolling th across the screen. Okay. Oh. 
Hey there, X sixty five K K zero. Remember us? Turns turns he turns around and 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 goes. Oh yes, I was expecting you. Uh, Eldon's eyebrows go up again. Whoa, expecting us, huh? You were expecting us. Yes, I saw that your your ship logs for arriving on the planet were just a bit ago. Ah, yes. Um, excellent. Well, glad this has come as a total surprise and interruption to your workday. Um, how are you? How are things here on Kofaria now that y'all are not being mind controlled? Back to the normal working order. I love that's his answer for both yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I bet this is a lot more relaxing than uh, falling for falling through space into uh, through the atmosphere onto a strange planet and wandering through wastes and caves. Um, excellent. Look, well, glad to hear everything is uh, <clears throat> back to the working order. Um, on our way here, we noticed, or Anna noticed, a mysterious ship rising from the port where the Scutum were outposted last time we were here. Do you know anything about that? Strange ship? Hmm. Yes. No. That, well, that fortress has been, was, well, after your, uh, your journey towards <laughs> that base, um, and the I destruction, and the destruction of the, of the spire, uh, it seems the Scutum cleared out of there very quickly. When we sent our our drone scouts in, there was nobody left, and nobody. We have not detected anyone there since. Okay. Do you know? Did they fly out? Was there? Did you see any ships, or do you think there's potential that they could have just relocated and hid in another in another location nearby? We detected ships leaving Kofaria. While it's possible that some managed to hide somewhere else, we are also having our drone armies uh, slowly scour the entire planet and search for them. So if there are any hidden, we will find them. Hmm. Great. But that does make it even weirder that we did see that ship over there. Or that I, I... saw that ship over there. And I trust my eyes. Yes, we, I trust your eyes, too. But yeah, that is, you're right. It does make it weirder because, like, if the, their drone scouts were going all over the place, then you, you know, if they're not finding soldiers, you'd think they'd have found a ship. Mm hmm. So then Anna turns back to S and says, So it is cleared out and no one actually is there right now, correct? Well, the garrison, I mean. As far as we know. Mm hmm. We might go and have a look see. Um, just to, you know, make sure everything's on the up and up. Um, so what was the conclusion of your, uh, after everything got settled, what is the conclusion of Kafaria's relations with Zelenia? Will you be joining the Empire, simply aligning yourself with us against the Scutum, or as yet undecided? Or not? <laughs> we have open diplomatic connections with the Zelenian em Empire. Excellent. Very good, yes. Go team. The exact nature of these uh, these connections are classified. Of course. Mm -hmm. Well, are you um, or did you get did you rise in rank? You know, after everything happened, are you at a you at a higher level with more power, more prestige, anything like that? I have the amount of power that I'm supposed to have. Oh, they kind of smiles uneasily. <laughs> Great. Well, all right. Well, is there anything that we can do for you? Any help we can, any assistance we can be to you? To me? No. Yes. I am aware that through our, uh, through our connections with your empire, that we have now linked in with your, uh, with your civilian core uh, interface, hence we have some some tasks that are need to be completed by some of our civilians can be addressed by you. Is that correct? That is correct. Mm -hmm. It was linked to our data pad already is what we noticed. Mm -hmm. 
then while I do not need any assistance, there, it, I presume there will be some of us here who will. Alright. Well, uh... I guess we'll uh, get to it and leave you to your work. Uh, just let us know if you need anything. You can contact us directly through our... Um, you know, through Spacebook. Um, <laughs> Spacebook! <laughs> oh. Oh. But wait, wait they, it's Spacebook or is it just MySpace? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... It's interstellar gram, get it right. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to come up with names because <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of anything. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing so much. My stomach is starting to hurt. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna need this later in the night. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Anna is going to nod nice. politely and then say, "You have a good day, sir." Yeah, and then start heading back out. Yes, we will turn. Yeah, we'll fuck, squeeze ourselves back into the cube. <laughs> yeah, Chad Wallows. What is start... Sudoku doing? She is just like. She looks like a little kid that like entered a really strict library, like <laughs> I don't, like that I don't know what to do with my hands kind of movement. Oh, uh, Anna will say as uh, she's near the. Oh, sorry, you can go ahead. Oh. No, I, I just said she'll just follow you guys up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Anna was just gonna say as uh, she's standing at that elevator cube, looking back towards S. She'll just say, "See you later, friend." And then she waves, and then we'll step back. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Have a good rest of your day, friend. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, hold on, I want to roll something. Her her, uh, her pupils get bigger every time you say friend, but you're still like, no. What do you say, Elden? Do you think S over there is a good friend? Well, yes, uh, it is a good, uh, uh, yes, anyone who can go, to, who can, you know, brave a ship jacking and space <laughs> dive through a thing and through, through an atmosphere and trek through the wilds multiple times is definitely a good friend. Wow, your friendship sounds traumatic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it kind of was. Right. <laughs> SSC7K0 just turns around. <laughs> and, uh, as he swivels around in his chair. As you get, sort of get back into the sort of elevator thingy, again, the door's closed and says, Query? Entrance. To the entrance. Like, or, extra, yeah. At max speed. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Anna <laughs> holds on to one of the rails on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it's, it says acknowledged, and, uh, it takes the exact same path, the exact same speed back to the entrance where you came from. Oh, convenient. Well, when we get out, when it opens, I'll just, well, that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I mean, thank you, though. As you were, uh, Travel Cube. All right, let's go. All right, so you're heading towards the mountains? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right, we shall swap on over to there then. All right, all the way down to the bottom. We remember these mountains. Mm Okay. All right. So down, very bottom, middle. Mm hmm. Okay. 
Are we already there? We we need to. Uh, take you need to. We need to. Yeah. Here. I mean, I can do it. No, I got it. That's okay. good. Thank you, though. So we're looking for Paggles, Oblast, Sturgs, and then also investigating the garrison or that area, I guess. Okay. I totally know what those things are. Right. <laughs> oh. oh. Elden, you're like all the way at the top. You gotta move all the way down. Yeah, I'm working on it. Just hit the... For some reason, the arrow key thing doesn't work for me. That's weird. Um, do you have to select your... You do have to, like, click on... You have to, like, click on your mm -hmm. token and then you move it with arrow keys. Um, okay, so you select your character, put them on there. And then, yeah, click click the, the tile on the map, and then you should be able to move it. Okay, so... Alright, so... Uh, oh, I hate looking at it! What are you looking at? I was scrolling through the map and I saw things. <laughs> I will say you see you have seen this all before. Yeah, that, I know, I but like <laughs> that's when my map wouldn't load and I couldn't really see them. Oh, would, interesting. Now I can see them. And it, <laughs> yo, okay. it looks like a butthole. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, you're at the bottom of the mountain area. Right. All right. Now let's go. I think we'll just walk normally for now. We don't need to stealth yet. Do, 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 okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Anna will start heading up. Oh, hold on. Do we want to go up or do we want to go? Oh yeah, we're ready to go up. We'll have to go up eventually because it's on the way to the garrison. Right. And we'll see what we encounter along the way. Oh, sorry. So we turn this first corner as we go up. Do we see anything? Um. Yep. Yeah, so you see. Uh, well, not if you roll. I mean, they're right there. Um. So you see two. Uh. Sort of crab-like creatures. Um. Which, hmm. yeah, okay, fine. Make nature checks. Nature. Cool. Twenty-two. Oh my lord! <laughs> uh, perception stuff. Mm -hmm. ah, mm. Advantage. <laughs> nature. <laughs> Alright, 31! <laughs> that max it out? Oh. Yeah, uh, oh, I said nature. Oh, sorry. Negative one modifier, let's go! Ah. 16. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, most of you are pretty yeah. sure, and Elden are like, you're definitely sure that this thing, these two things are Pagools. Um, and... Uh, relative power level is a 2, and aggression is a 2. Okay. And they were part of the thing, they were one of the things that we needed to get, right? Yep, we needed 5 of them. So, you see don't let them, them escape. Right mm-hmm. Alright. Well, do they see us? Uh... You don't know. <laughs> they just okay. seem to be slowly kind of moving around. All right, well, then let's... Um, Easy pickings. Let's, let's get them. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're at a pretty good range right now. We could just fire at them. Hmm? Okay. Um, right, I guess it. let's do initiative rolls, then. Oh. All right. Yeah. I keep forgetting to do the thing where I have to click on the... Hang out, it's 19, but this is over up here on the board. Do we get advantage on this one, too? Uh, yes. 
Okay. Like, you I'll just click everything. twice. So if you want to click twice, then yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll use my first one. <laughs> uh, what was your first one? Oh, 15. I'll okay. Take that. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. I gotta. Okay. Anna got the 21. Elden. Oh, yeah, Elden. 16. So, roll. Huh? I got a 16. Uh, I only see you rolled once, and it was an 11. For initiative? Yeah. Oh, I could. The 16 I see was, was something Aaron rolled right after the 11. Oh, okay. So it's my. my oh, and then my Michael rolled a 16 before that. Yeah, so. Sandwiched so, by the six. So I guess time. eleven. Well, it, well, no, roll twice because we're taking, we're doing advantage. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> sixteen. Well, <laughs> if you're not gonna roll it, then you'll just be coming. Okay. You're right. Okay, and then Chad got the 20. Mm -hmm. Nah, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> all of you beat the Pagool, uh, so, or Pagools. So, uh, okay, Anna is first. All right, well, let's see if, let's see if we can crack that tiny skull that they might have. Mind Sliver on the left, Pagool. They must make the intelligence saving throw. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> They're so smart. Four psychic damage, minus 1d4 in the next saving throw. Okay. And that's on his turn. Okay. I'm going to go attack the right one with the pew pew. Pew pew. 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 Oh, pew. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, they all hit. And again, the pew. crit. Okay, so oh, that's 20, pew. 31, <laughs> 38. You attack the shell left. It's you you attack, Okay, you attack the one on the right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I can math. Uh, it's still up. What? Yeah, it's still up. What? It's got shells. Do I really want to be petty and use action surge? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm using action oh surge. God. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Somebody hates crabs. Uh, that's a yeah. miss. Oh! Oh! That's also a miss. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a hit. Six damage. You went to doing 38 damage to 6 damage, and it's still up. Pretty little thing out there. Okay, um... It didn't want me to be petty. <laughs> okay, I'll help My you. My friend told you. me that crabs are really hard to get rid of. Yes, oh, your friend is uh, right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, Elden, uh, it's your chance to try. Alright. Firing at the same... You're firing at the same crab deal. Is Sudoku a non-combatant? No, oh, she's a combatant. Uh, 19. Uh, so... that hits, uh... Mm. Oh, wait, you have advantage Isn't on it... everything. That means you do yeah, get sneak attack damage. Sneak, That's right. right. Oh, shit. Elden's, like, broken oh, as fuck. Okay, well, Eddie, okay. <laughs> uh, you're eating the one on the right, right? The one that Chad hit? Yes. Okay, then, yeah, it's dead now. Well, <laughs> all right. Now we'll do extra. Do, yeah, I get. Don't I get? We have two extra attacks now that we're like, like pass level five, right? You don't. Your class Certain does not. Classes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay. So, okay. but you well, can use bonus action to hide or defend or. Oh. With right. Armor okay. Or whatever right. You do. Okay. So I will. Yeah, I'll use that bonus action to. <laughs> we'll get to thirty. Okay. <laughs> to twenty. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Where are you gonna? Hide. Uh, okay, yep, you hide. <laughs> yeah. I become one with the grass. Or with the snow. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so Alright, Sudoku. Woo! 
Okay, that hits. Am I reading that right? Yep. It hits twice, so click it twice. <laughs> Did that cat girl just use Eldritch Blast? <laughs> you want to just, just describe to Chad what this Eldritch Blast looks like? So this... She pulls out a wand that has, like some shiny streamers and a feather and a little bell at the end. Mm. Basically one of those wand cat toys. And she like waves it around in the air and you know you see like shitty like MS Paint pixelated stars as she blasts this thing. Crude but effective. Mm. It is still Eight up though. Power. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so this is going to be the Poggle's turn. That is the Poggle's turn. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Anna, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Actually, wait, um, I'm going to roll one other thing. Hold on. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's too weird. Actually, wait. Does Anna even want to use a spell slot for this? Nah. She's just gonna do Ray of Frost. Frost grenade in the snow. 19. Okay, hold on one second. Uh, 19. Yes, that hits. Five cold damage. It's still up. And if it had speed, its speed reduced this to by ten feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's honest thing. All right. Um. Chad. That. Um. Those all hit. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's enough to kill it. Pew, 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 pew. I'm just like mag dumping in this thing because I'm so frustrated from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> you killed that one, huh? Yeah, I reeled it with bullets. I mean, okay. nice. Laser burns. <laughs> that said, um, so, <laughs> uh, Elden. Uh, I'll say because you got the uh, nat 20 to hide, I'll just say that kind of counts as a perception in this case. Um, you see sort of behind you where you were hiding, um, there are three more. Oh, cool. All right. So Elden's going to flip around and uh, trusting his crew, they trust his group to find, to, uh, like to look around and find the source of his shot is going to line up a shot. Because like, well, they're in they're in range for me to shoot them, right? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. Go line up a shot and. Do you want to go for the ones closest uh, to you? Well, let me let me be able to tell you which one I'm firing at. Um, they're to the right of you. There's purple, there's green, and there's orange. Okay, where's Elden? Oh, Elden will shoot at purple. Okay. Whew. Uh, okay. Oh. Um, that's 44 damage. Hi. Uh, it's still up. Oh. oh, definitely hiding now. <laughs> okay. Uh. And they have the hop to the other side of the rock. Do -do 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 -do. Yep, okay. <laughs> they don't see that. Mm. All right. Uh, 
Sudoku, make a perception check. Mm. Or, well, I guess, Elden, in your quest to hide, are you going to be like, yo, there's more over there? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, there's then never mind. Then, then just go and hit. Just, you can just go to it. Oh, you look through more over there. Perfect. All in more. A <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Julia, you can just go to attack one of them then. Okay, uh, I'll attack the, uh, yeah, the least healthy looking. Okay. Well, so these are big beefy boys, so. Mm-hmm. Elder's Blast! That it? And again, it hits twice. Okay. Uh, it's dead. Give back. Wait, I didn't do anything. Sure <laughs> you did guys... everything. You did great. Are you sure these guys aren't bullies? Um... <laughs> if they get close to you, they'll pinch your cheeks painfully. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, next? Well, it's the Pagul's right. turn. Uh... <laughs> it dashed. They both dashed. <laughs> That's how far they got. <laughs> Low. Okay, uh, Ada. Um, okay. Anna goes up here so she can actually see them. And... Well... I mean, we're gonna ray of frost the closer one, green. Frost grenade, go! Ooh, a 14. That's a miss. Whoopsie! Okay, that's her turn. Chad? I am going to go... Blank. And I'm gonna shoot the green one. Three times. To the surprise of nobody. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. So we're gonna go for the first one. Pew! <laughs> then the second one. Pew! Then the third one. Pew! No. Oh, okay, those all hit. Pew! Pew! Pew. Damn, this boy's got more pews than a church. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's 31 damage. Uh, it's still up. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Elden. Alright. Let's fire a green. Uh, has green taken any damage? Green has taken all the damage so far of the two that green, are left. Let's take it some more. <laughs> let's give it some more. It wants more. All right, pop out. I like crab cakes. All right. Uh, with the advantage, twenty-one in the sneak attack. That is twenty-three damage. And uh. You can see that it, like, you, like, shot off, like, part of its shell, but it's still, like, it's still up. Just barely. Oh, God. Stealth. 17. Uh, let's see here. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Ah. Oh. Nope. Okay. Sudoku. <laughs> Needs more glitter. Blast. Ah, uh, that hits. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Can you... Can you make it so that the Eldritch Blast, like, one hit hits one thing and the other hit hits another thing? Sure. I think that's a thing you can do. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Because, yeah, because the first hit... Yeah, I think they're separate beams. Okay, yeah, so the first hit, hit kills the first one, so... Yeah! You might as well use the second one to hit the second one, so... Okay. Alright. Uh, 
It's gonna move. That's its turn. <laughs> Okay. Uh, All right. Um, I mean, it's it's coming closer. I know it's inching <clears throat> closer. I don't even want to give it the chance to get up close to me. So <coughs> cross grenade at this range. Comes that boy. Oh, twenty. It, it soft does, twenty does hit. Four cold damage and it is slowed. Okay. Oh, that was good. Chad. I'm gonna do what I've been doing, shooting. Mm, pew, shooting pew, mm. pew. Mm. Uh, those all hit. Pew, pew, pew. Wow, this fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, that's twenty-five damage. Still up. God fucking damn it. Elden. The green one's still. The orange one is. The, the green one orange died one. from Sudoku, so the orange one is left. Okay, excellent. Alright. Fire! Uh, yes. That is enough to kill it. Sweet. Creeping around. Awesome, is to kill all, all right. these things without getting any damage. All five of those are dead. <laughs> and uh, we have what? We needed the shells from them or the claws? Uh, I believe it was the shells. It sounds about right. Yeah, I think um, we just needed the shells. Cool. So, right. wow, Chad, you seem to really hate those crabs. <laughs> He's gonna look at them like magazine just gun and rag it. All right. Just um, yeah, and we made quick work. No wounds at all. And yeah, so that's the five samples of the Pagel shell. We just need one Oblast core and two more Sturg spines. Maybe we'll see them in route towards the garrison. All right. Let us venture forth with us. Elden, take points. <laughs> <laughs> I shall. Chad, just, just give me that character where I can't decide on accent from, so I'll, I'll use all the accents. <laughs> hey, that sounds good. Just one day, just be like Scottish. <laughs> For like, no reason. Yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's pretty decent Scottish. Hey. I kind of have to work on the Scottish accent because every single dwarf in my campaign uses it. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, well, as you're coming up to this sort of area up here, uh, <coughs> make perception checks. What if I don't want to? Okay, then don't. Then you can make snow angels on the at the base of the mountain. <laughs> okay. That was persuasion. Wow, can oh, I persuade really you helped. to use that score? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, okay. I'll say. Well, I'll say everyone sees this. Um. They see a bit to the left here, you see a little path, and you see, uh, again, this little, what almost looks like sort of a segmented creature, uh, where each segment sort of looks like a stone, and Elden, you know, you recognize, oh, that's definitely an oblast, um, while to the right is sort of a frozen lake, and you have these sort of large, uh, sort of spiny cr creatures crawling on the su surface of this frozen lake, and Elden, you notice that, oh, those are Sturgs. Huh. Uh, uh, check it out. Those things floating there are the are Sturgs, and I recognize that. I got the rock. 
And if you want to do nature checks on them, then you can do that as well. That would be good. Nature, please. Nat 20. Damn. Not quite mm -hmm. Nat 20, but 28. <laughs> okay, well... So yeah, okay, well the Oblast, uh, you have power level of 3 and an aggression of 3, um, okay. so three and three. you'll know, mm -hmm. I guess, that like, I'll say Aaron with the nat 20, you know that there's something about these things that's like weird, and that you've heard that like people tend to stay away from them, even though they're like not usually aggressive. Mm-hmm. And Anna's like, and the fact that, you know, there's, we only need one of them, and they don't seem that powerful, but I remember people saying they had some sort of weird harmful effect, so we should be a little bit careful with around them. And probably don't alert Oblast and Stirs at the same time. Mm. And so that's the, the Oblast, the Stirgs have a power of four, an aggression of one. Um, oh. And, uh, yeah, there's, you also know that, again, even though they're not aggressive, that they're also sort of avoided as well. People tend to not want to deal with them. Mm hmm Okay, well, so we just have to be careful. And you were right, Anna, we want to do one at a time. Mm hmm Anybody have any suggestions on how we can do them? Maybe we can like lure one of them away. From what I remember, the Oblast Finish your thought. Oh, yeah. Um Well we can see the Oblast, right? Yeah, you can see both of them. Well you can see the one Oblast to your left and the two Sturgs to your right. Mm hmm Uh, well, Anna was just going to say, I mean, wait, aggression of one means they will run away. They will actively avoid trying to fight you, basically. Okay. Anna will say, the thing is, we know that Sturgs will try and, you know, like, run, like, Avoid combat, so if they notice that we're in a fight with an Oblast, the Sturgs might start running. Mm. Versus the other ones are at a aggression level of 3, so like, they, they'll protect their territory, so they'll stand fast. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I'll be right back and they take a trash to go on. Keep going. Okay. I'll be playing a bit. <laughs> so just, to, just to elaborate, so a 3 is, they're normally not aggressive, but if something will sort of set them off. Mm -hmm. Does Anna know if the Sturgs are fast at all? Mm. Based on how they're moving around, you can pr you can predict that they're rather slow. <laughs> okay, Anna's mm. like, I think we can get the O blast because even if the Sturg tries to run, look at it. They're barely inching on that icy lake. And the Oblast is closer to us anyways. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, make your decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you guys think? I say we deal with the Durg thing first, so it doesn't run away, and it's, if it's, like, power level of four. Like, do we need to kill it, or what do we need from the from from this, exactly? Uh, Looks like... Mm -hmm. The quest asks for its spines. Oh, yeah, I can't just, like, hey, can we borrow this? <laughs> well, hmm. That's what Maybe. we wanted to do with the bunnet clubs, but then they were so weak they died instead. Right. Okay, so let's uh, let's say we 
do a stealth up to get closer to it so we can I get it. Maybe do we want to surround it? Uh, yeah, we could. Okay. Oh, yeah, so Elden's going to sneak up, try and sneak around it. Okay. Anna will sneak up on its left side so that she doesn't have to sneak that far. Okay. 28. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> 21. <laughs> 19 or 21. Uh-huh. The, the, the Dirk is the, the the pink thing right here. That looks vaguely like a jellyfish. This It's a Sturg, but yeah. Sturg, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, All let's right, see. So... Oh, wow. Mm? Mm, yeah, we, we, we... It is unsuspecting. Okay. Uh, Sudoku, are you also going to try to surround the Sturg with being sneaky? Yes. Yeah! 22. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Uh, perfect timing. Uh, roll stealth. stealth. We're surrounding the Sturg. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't ex- escape. 21. Okay. That's, yeah, so yeah, uh, Michael, that's the the pink starfish looking things in the upper to the northeast of you. You mean Patrick? Sure. <laughs> I mean, Patrick don't look like that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so if you want to move yourselves. Where, wait, where did Chad go? Am I blind? Oh, there he is. He is okay. to the left of Elvin. Yeah. Uh, I'm good work on that. Sudoku, are you going to move yourself up to the level? Uh, you moved into it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh no, he fell into the butthole! <laughs> you stealth so good, you're literally hiding inside of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I'll let you keep your initiative rolls unless you want to change them. Nope, no. uh, I'm good. Okay. Well, I think that's the greatest good I'm gonna get. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Weeds! <laughs> I will That's say, I, I had, in terms of the, the enemy stats in this area, I had fun with them. They're kind of completely lopsided. So, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, you roll uh, okay. Ot- Otta, you're first. Okay, because we know that they could hide, or like they'll try and avoid combat, we will start with that frost grenade, just in case it tries to run. 22. Uh, that hits. Okay, four cold damage and speed reduced by ten feet for this round. And this is the top one. Yeah, red done. Yeah. Okay, that is Anna's turn. Okay. Chad? What else can I do? Oh well. I'm just gonna go... (coughs) I guess. Here we go. There we go. All of those hit. Ew. Mm-hmm. Eh, acceptable. Okay, 31. Still up. Held in. Alright. Let's go with the uh, sneak attack rifle shock from behind. 22. Uh, yeah, 25 damage. Still up. And then, yeah, the, uh, yeah, I think I'll hide. Vainty <laughs> Ocho. Uh, um, yep. I guess I'll just duck behind the rock here. <laughs> okay, they don't see you. Um, awesome. Okay, Sudoku. Sudoku looks over to you guys and is like, Looks like we're hurting them. 
Do we That's really have to do that? Yes. <laughs> but they're not bullies and they have to be friends, right? If you want to cuddle with one, be my guest, Fauna says. I'd hate to have to bury another team member. What? Nothing. Kill it. <laughs> Some, like someone, someone, like one of our, someone who could be a friend needs parts, of, like parts of this thing. We're trying to get this as humane as possible. Oh, we're getting them a present? Yeah, we're getting somebody a present. That's a hit. Okay, uh, 23. Uh, it's still up. Eh. Okay, uh, this one's going to move. Here. Ooh. This Ooh. one's going to move there. And that mm. is the end of their turn. Okay. And that's accounting for the slowed speed? Yep. Interesting. Anna? Okay. Um. Hmm. Anna will... Would Anna know do these things? Well, okay. What, would Mind Sliver work on it? Uh... Because I, I remember for the... The other, like, spiky shelled one at the oh, top. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so that won't work. Okay. Um... Okay, we're just gonna shatter, then. <laughs> so... Yeah. Ooh, and it's oh, you said it's on an icy lake. Yes. Well, I already said it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna shatter, and can we get like um, both both the red and the blue? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Don't have a macro for that. So let me just check real quick. It's gonna be a ten foot radius sphere. It'll be. 3d8 thunder damage, and they must make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Red one's con save. Mm-hmm. DC 16. Real one's con save. Wow. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, so they take 12 thunder damage. Thunder! Thunder! Be the thunder. Okay. Um, and so yeah, that's a sudden loud <laughs> ringing noise. So if anything else happens, um, the ice cracks and it does break. So the blue one does sort of just kind of the lake's not deep. So the blue <laughs> one just sort of kind of falls into the lake, but like it's like right below the surface. It's that big. <laughs> okay. Uh the red one just sort of like the back half of it is kinda in the lake, whereas the front half <laughs> is kind of clinging to land already. Awkward. Okay. So it's like an upended vote on this. Yeah. That said, okay. um Sudoku take one damage. Oh Anna will step back a few steps. And that'll be her turn. Pew pew to red. Oh, shit, there's two of them. <laughs> yeah, man. <coughs> Those all hit. Oh. 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 Okay. Uh. The first one uh, takes out red. So I'll nice. let the other two hit blue. Yes. Oh. Although, Murder. while that happens, though, um, again, uh, Sudoku take three damage. Ew. 
Ow! No, <laughs> oh, poor Sudoku. Why is Sudoku taking damage? She's in the lake? Uh, no, so as you see, basically once, uh, uh, when they get hit, um, their, mm -hmm. their spines sort of, like, protrude out of their body, sort of instinctively. And uh. since Sudoku was right next to the red one, uh, she took damage from both of those hits. Gotcha. Wait, so they just needed the spines, like... Hmm. Okay. Wait, Wait do we need... Me. Yeah, do we need the giant arm as a spine, or just, like, some of those... Spines that protruded out and hit through. Them. You'll need okay. You'll need spine. You need enough spines that you can get. by you have to kill both of them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> when I whenever I give we a number, just pluck it off. No, whenever I say a them. number of a things for a quest, that is just assume that means that's how many things you have to kill to get the stuff. So mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's Chad's turn. It's uh, Elden. Elden, fire at the blue one! Shit, I was gonna run out there, I got the real. Oh, wow! Did I actually hit with that one? You did. Oh, okay, cool. 19 so, damage. Excellent. And then hide from the spines! <coughs> <laughs> Damn, you rolled that 20 stealth like three times. Yeah. Well, it's the Revenge of Elden. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, don't see you. Uh, oh. it's Sudoku. Mm. I'm a blast because that hurt it. Yes, blast it. Blast. Yeah, maybe it doesn't look like a butthole. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like a nipple that exploded. Stop uh, staring at it and hit it already. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to move all my crap out of the way. Also, what did you- you said nipple what? That exploded. Oh my. Mm, that's a pretty Never picture. mind, I shouldn't have asked. Okay, well that, ah! hit, that hits. <laughs> yeah. Nine and eight. Ugh. God awful. Oh well. Yep, still up. Uh, by the way, I think the oven beeped. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Go before your house catches on fire. <laughs> Cornbread time! Um, okay, so it's going to move. There. Hold on, we gotta fix something. There we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. The important parts. Okay, Anna, your turn. <clears throat> Alright. Um, what can I really do? Okay, I'm just gonna shatter again. So, Constitution saving throw. Okay, it takes half of the nine damage. Okay, five. <laughs> and, okay, and I, yeah, that's all. And it will hit Sudoku with its spikes. Sorry. Four damage to Sudoku. That's it for Ana. Okay, Chad. <gasps> Do I even just say anything? He's gonna bring up his rifle and then take yeah. two shots at it, and then he's going to drop his not not like drop it because it's attached to be a sling, and he's gonna pull out his pistol and shoot it once because that's kind of what I've been doing with the past. Who knows how long? Mm -hmm. What a marksman! Okay. Those all hit. Ew. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucked. Um, 
I hit the target, but at what cost? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that. Wow, that damage sucked. Uh, it's still up. God damn it! Don't rub it in. Let's rub see if it's still up after this. Okay. Yep. Elden. Oh, and oh, wait. While well, that happened, though. You Poor do shoot it. All right, you shoot bikes. it. Th hold on. You shot it three times. So. <laughs> yes. Shit. Okay, Sudoku is in total going to take 10 damage. Um, Elden's attack does hit, which is 24? 22. 22. Uh, which is enough to take it out. Woo! But. But uh, residual spike. spikes. One. Okay, okay so Sudoku is <laughs> going to be taking 11 damage in total. Of course. When Billy okay. comes back. Well, that's, that's good. Yeah. So, my thing for that enemy is that they don't have any actual direct attack. It's just that when you hit them, they hit anything that's right next to them. <laughs> oh, so they're literally a tank. Yeah. Also, so they had a, they had an AC of five, but their HP was a hundred. So, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to miss something like that. Yeah, exactly. That's why you never missed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if someone did get a nat one, then it would have been a miss, but you know, no one did. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. When I shattered the lake, I was like, is it going to sink to the very bottom and are we going to have to do a, like, <laughs> jump into the water? <laughs> Be firing guns underwater. Yeah, well, they both, again, they both sort of got to crawl up onto the shore before they died, so. Good for us. Mm-hmm. Collect those spines. Yeah. Mostly out of Sudoku. <laughs> uh, Sudoku, is Julie back yet? No. Okay. Is it cornbread that's in the oven? I have no idea. I don't think so. What does it smell like? Uh. Spaghetti. <laughs> no. Wait, no. Why would that be in the oven? <laughs> I, I don't know. We were making chicken parmesan last night. We put spaghetti in the oven. <laughs> but it was cooked first, right? Or yeah, it like was. the pasta was cooked. Yeah, but the spaghetti was in the oven. There was a point in time where the spaghetti made contact True. with the oven. The <laughs> oven enveloped the spaghetti. Okay. Is that all me? What? All those spikes. Yeah, so you've in total taken 11 spike damage. Ow! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Elton's gonna like. I had to save my pizza roll. Ooh, pizza okay, roll. Yeah. Elton's gonna run over. Do you need meds? Like, do you need um, feel good spray? <laughs> just like, do you need medical attention? He's like, spikes. Like, <laughs> like, like, I will you spray you face. with this. <laughs> it's Windex. Here's everything. Oh, God. <laughs> spray Windex on, like, spiked wounds. Here's some Clorox. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I'm fine. Just... Oh, Go okay. Go and get that meanie. Ah, yeah, we got him. Yeah, it's it's, it's gone. Oh. Cool. And we Is can it... extract the spikes too. Okay. Is, are they all gone now? Yep, mm -hmm. Sturgs are dead. Yeah. I didn't know because the battle music was still on. So. Oh. Mm. Yeah, we got them. Well, we got just, the crabs is... and we got those two spiny thingies. And we just need to turn around our heads and face the Oblast. I am. Mm. The That's Oblast right. has not moved from where you saw it before. Alright, hey buddy. Does it like stare at us? Because I see it has eyes. Uh. It's, it looks like it's almost ignoring you. But it's staring at something? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suspicious. Okay, well, Anna would like ready an attack if uh, we're ready. Oh, yeah, I'll I'm ready, to... ready an attack. Mm, okay, three of them. so uh, I guess we'll make an initiative roll then for the Oblast. And that will be... Come on, let's see how this number can go. 
Wow, actually. Ooh. Not bad. Given I love how this campaign or this session so far is just murdering the local wildlife. That's what the last two sessions were. Like, <laughs> so yeah, right. <laughs> we're clearing out Lestra and the Lurgash. first place, and yeah, and Kofaria. Who flipped my thing around? <laughs> Me. Yeah, you're facing the right way. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no shooting us. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Anna, go ahead. Ray of Frost. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. okay. You see that? <laughs> I was wondering if it was gonna happen. Okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> I was imagining you like about to throw it, and you just like do like a literally like the whole like Charlie Brown like whoops kind of. Yes. <laughs> uh, and you throw it at Elden. Oops. And have old Elden take also half damage, so Elden takes three damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incoming as a grenade of frost just like explodes right in front of you. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> my hand slipped. <laughs> oh my god. The Oblast continues to stare forward. <laughs> it just has the Mega Man dirt face. It doesn't even have to do anything when we're killing each other. Okay. I'm gonna shoot the Obladi or whatever it's called Oblast. three times. Oblast. Oblast. Pew! <laughs> pew and pew. So good. Um. Pew. Yeah. Oh, oh do they hit? Hmm. Uh, those all miss. What? Oh. Flavor wise, does it like hit? But oh, yeah. something it, it, it is hit, deflected. It, yeah, it, like it just it seems to just bounce off and do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> no nature of this. <laughs> <got extra> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you literally just see your bullets. <laughs> You've already um, done a nature roll on this thing, so. Oh yeah. But you can try to attack it. Hmm. Who's that? Elden. Uh, Elden. Elden's thinking about what to do next. Uh. Alright, you know what? We're gonna get close in person. Let's <gasps> get physical. Physical. We're about to get physical. Physical. Um... All right. For the Empress. <laughs> well, how many feet is that anyway? Can I cover that distance? And... Yeah, you can. Okay. That's like 15 feet. Oh, yeah. okay. Close enough. You get the idea. All right. And we'll see if... If melee attacks do anything. That's all I got. Nope. Just seems to bounce right off. Um, Does it move its head I'm at all? To look? Away. Uh. Okay. <coughs> uh, it doesn't seem to react. Okay. Mm. Did, Elden, did Elden made a nature roll about it? Uh, yeah, he did earlier. Yeah. Was that common knowledge? <laughs> what? Just that, like, people usually avoid these things. Yeah. Oh, okay, God. Can I make a nature roll? Sure. Yes. <laughs> nature. Let's go. Decent. You know people tend to avoid these things. Oh gee. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> it's Sudoku's turn. Okay. I'm a... Yeah... I'm going pull out big cat. Mm. Uh, I want to cast blight. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um. 
Let's see, I don't think... Well, let's see. Ew. Okay. Um, Aww. it doesn't do anything. Oh! Really? It doesn't even take half damage? It does nothing. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> Uh, what does it look like? So, like, does that just bounce off also? It seems to, like, kind of blast into it, and then it, you know, the the energy sort of fades away, and then it just looks normal, like nothing happened to it. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> okay, and it's now its turn. And it is going to move here. That's its turn. Interesting. Anna, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Well, it. What does it seem to be made out of? Hard rock. Yeah. Mm. We gotta chip away at this. So, let's do shatter, and we'll boost up its strength using it third level spell slot for it. So it's gonna be... For the shatter thing, it's that if it's made of, like, a rock or something, it has disadvantage on the save? It says, yeah, inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage okay. on the saving throw. Okay. And, uh... Oh, let's click it. Okay. 16. <laughs> alright, alright. Okay, so... This is fun. Um, <laughs> alright. So, you hit it, and... All of a sudden, it suddenly starts to glow. Uh, Everyone make a deck save. <laughs> okay! Oh, Wait, let me double check. Hold on. Fucking Reggie Rock using self-destruct. Oh, Sudoku, <laughs> Sudoku does not have to make a death save. Uh, not have to make uh, a death save. A, a okay. dex save. But everyone else Yay. does. Yay! Death save. Dex save, let's Watch go. Watch out! Shards incoming. Dodge! Remember to yell dodge no, when you no. dodge. 13. Okay, Anna's 13. I want to see what everyone does. Oh, hey. I just fucking, like, commando oh. roll out of the way. <laughs> okay. The nat 20, so... Wait, how did I do this? No, I forgot. I even say... Okay, it was half, okay. Um, I'll say... Uh, Chad will take quarter damage. Ooh. And Elden will take half damage. Oh, wait, no, Elden has fucking the, what's it? Evasion. Evasion. So that's no damage, Evasion. right? Oh, yeah. That's a mask. Yeah, if it succeeds. Okay. So Elden, oh, takes, oh, Elden is taking no damage. <laughs> Chad Oops. is going to take quarter damage. Otto's taking full damage. Ow. So it's... Okay, hold on, I have to... Now. <laughs> Type out all these numbers and then click enter. So here's the thing. This thing can also cannot directly attack, but every time it's hit, a counter goes up. Mm, and that counter no, how much multiplies does. how much damage the explosion does. No oh my god. So right. this is the damage. What's a quarter okay. twenty-five? Uh that six. would be six. Okay. So Chad Fair takes enough. six, Elden takes nothing, and uh, Ana takes twenty-five damage. Okay. <laughs> Ow! Wait, what's... Oh hey, sixty-nine health. Nice. <laughs> Damn. So it explodes, and what's left over is just sort of like, sort of like a, a hmm, like a fist-sized sphere that's sort of glowing brightly. Well, I think that's what we needed. Yeah, better leave something behind. Anna just snatches it and, like, puts it in her bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. That hurt. But, I think that's everything that we needed from the wildlife. Mm, yes, that did, and I think that is. Does anybody need med spray? Um, good for now. Like yes, but I can. I have some for myself. Okay. So Anna will use one of the greater healing potions 
but it's basically a mint spray. Mm -hmm. And we'll get 12 back. Alright. Oh, shit. As she pulls off like an entire jagged piece of rock that's like embedded in her elbow. <laughs> I'm not sure she's injury. Sorry, what'd you say? I said, oh no, she's got a weenus injury. <laughs> <sighs> All right, are we ready to go? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Let us head this way. So from what I remember, yeah, we saw, or I saw that ship right around the... Did I see it around the entrance of the garrison? Uh, you just saw it kind of like... You, you, you saw it, it was already like flying away from like near the top of the mountain, so you're not really sure exactly where from like the base it took off. It was okay. already in the air when you what saw it. Gotcha. And what are these things right here? To the right? Yeah. Uh, those are some things. those are some more pagools. Let's just keep pressing on to the base. Yeah. <laughs> we need to keep some alive so that they reproduce so that people right. can use the shells for later. Yeah. We'll head on over here, hug the rocks. Then Well, we should check the inside of the base. Yeah. In case anything was left. Sure. Because they said they cleared out then. Supposedly. Less people there than, yeah. Okay. There's less people there than last time. Well, um... We are going to take a break then, and we'll enter the base after the break. Mm. Yes. Oh. Alrighty. Alright. Wow, what the fuck was that? Oh, Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we all deep. ready to go? Yep, we're yep. jumping into this garrison. All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm all out of bubble gum. So we're gonna be back up in the upper right corner. Okay. Are we on the map? Or we gotta put ourselves on the map. Uh, I think you gotta put your, you gotta put yourself. Yeah, up, I think. Upper right, right. I got it. Yeah, a very far upper right corner. Got it. Actually, wait. Yeah, do you have things? Nope. Nope. There's no tokens on the map. Mm mm. This looks cleared. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you say. Yep. Well, here I am, bloody gas. What am I you got me? <laughs> Feels like deja vu breaking into this fort yet again. Good times. I have no idea what's happening. Well, that's Sudoku, we'll protect you. Or no, you need to protect us because we're friends. Um. That's a lot of Sudoku. <laughs> that's called being manipulative. Oh. That actually that's <laughs> Rogue! <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, well, alright. Uh, before you do anything, make a perception check. Perception check. Twenty-two. I natural twenty, laddie. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on, come on, Julie, get a 22. Wait, yeah, we all got no, 22. No, no, you didn't. But, Julie. <laughs> yeah. Go, banana! <laughs> um, yeah, so looking around, it does look kind of surprisingly similar to how it did when you were here before. Um, so, if anything, this tells you that, you know, they must have left in a hurry uh, pretty shortly after you came through here. 
So right. in this next room, are there still the corpses of those two Scutum that we killed? Uh, no. There's no bodies. Okay. okay so those are cleared out. It looks like the Scutum took their dead. Oh, glad yeah, these were the two. Horribly. These were the two that played Bugby. I remember that. Bugby. I know Bugby with the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it <Yeah>. here. <laughs> Don't lie, you love it. <laughs> Myriads in the sky being like, thank god I'm away from there. She too is playing <laughs> buggy with the lord. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and the two scoot him. <laughs> Alright. Okay, can we go to this room? Yeah. Again, you don't see anybody, and there's nothing really of note at all. This is, everything just kind of seems like as it was. Well, this is the room that there was one Scootum who was just idly sitting around the table, but we didn't go any further. Correct. So, Although, we might want to see what else is... Left one alive? <clears throat> there's nobody there, and they don't know. Okay. But... Mm-hmm. So, so we didn't go here? into this room before, you did but Anna wants to check out what's on the other side. Like, uh, Toroso, keep going left? Uh, to the north. Okay. She want this one left, let's go. I'll right. say that from what you can see... Is this an open area? Yeah. Or is it like a door? This is open. Okay. Yes, yeah, so Anna will walk in. Okay. Uh, so to the left there, that is a door. Okay, so it looks like there's three doors, some yeah. chambers, okay. Hmm. Well, there's three doors down this way, so let's look into the first door. Three doors down. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was trying not to say it. Oh, yeah, I've, I've well, I'm here without Sudoku, so someone's missing. Sudoku's all the way back to the entrance. <laughs> oh. I'm here without you. Anyway, you you look in and you see, you know, what looks like a very basic sort of military barracks kind of bedroom situation. All right. And again, I was just gonna do a quick investigation check because I have that skill now and see if you can find any evidence of like like any uh, any information about the us uh, okay. uh, like the scootum there okay um roll okay i'm gonna have you roll two different things okay roll a d100 sure. and then roll a d250 <laughs> Slash R one a D one D two fifty. Yep. So the one hundred and the D two fifty. And there you go. You have uh, one sixty three and one uh, forty seven and one sixty three. Okay. Uh, you find forty seven credits. Sweet money. And one sixty three. Mhm. Mm uh oh. Uh oh, I don't like the name, sound of this. Um, <laughs> I in turn don't like the sound of this. Um, okay, 47 credits. Hold on. Well, as, as long as it's not like Rogue's Vein or something. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's funny you mentioned that. What is this thing? <laughs> what is going to be unleashed? Oh god. Um What do they keep in the bed? Okay. Let me see. Oh, hold up. Uh two. Holy fuck, okay. Um, you see, like, under the bed, you see this... 
Okay, actually, no, wait, this makes perfect sense. Um, okay. You see a sort of locked box. Okay. Um, but from looking at the label, you see the label says, um, caution, plutonium sample. Oh, boy. Ooh. So, okay. So the, the thing that you rolled is was Talisman of Ultimate Evil. <laughs> um, so, how this works, the main thing of it is that basically if you touch it, you take a fuckload of damage. So, um, but it's in a box, so basically if you take the box, it'll be okay, but, yeah. So if you want to hold on to this and, like, I don't know, try to, like, throw it at somebody later, then you could do that. <laughs> or, yeah, well, I mean, better us have it. It'd just be laying around here for someone to pick up. There we go. Alright, um, plutonium. Yum. Yum. Yeah, here, I need to... <laughs> in, in your, on your there character sheet, can you just, like, do, like, parentheses next to it or whatever, right? Like, Talisman of Ultimate Evil? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, so, just so I remember kind of what it's based on, so when, it, you know, because you might not use it for a while, and I don't want to forget what the heck it is. Yeah. Was. So, okay. There we go, got it. Okay, cool. Alright, well that's what you find. Good times. Alright, Does it, uh, do you want to split the credits, y'all? Like, how does 47 split by... Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Four. Hmm. We uh, could do 12, but then one person gets shafted. When someone gets 11, yeah. Hmm. I think because you found it, you can just take it. Well, it works for me. Anybody else have any objections? Fingers keepers. Nothing yeah. over here, laddie. Gotcha. All right. And I have money. What happened to his voice? Huh? Yeah, just uh. What you mean? What happened to my voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Right. All right. So we're okay. So basically, we're in here and. All right, so now we're going to go back out and go back up. Yep, kick down door number two. Okay. okay. Mouse is being stupid. Don't be stupid, Mouse. Okay, well, there you go. Another sort of small little bedroom. Again, someone wants to make an investigation check, they can do so. It were. And it's a dangerous skill for Elden to have. <laughs> um, so we're gonna take it away from him. Thirteen. <laughs> um, roll. <coughs> uh, roll a d fifty. Okay, you find eleven. 11 you find eleven credits. Okay, huh, just more money. Oh my god, did I? What? Oh. Oh, Chrome just. Shut off, so I've got. All right, well, just the money. They don't need it anymore. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. these are Zelinian credits, <laughs> or just oh. general credits? Um. It's. I'm trying to make this not complicated. Um, basically, Probably there's it, like a universal currency. Sure, I mean, it's not, okay. It's credits that like you can use, so you don't have to worry about like, we have foreign money, how do we deal with this? But like, it's not like yeah. actually like Zillidian credits, because that would okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. be suspicious. Okay. So I'm just- Yeah, it's, sorry. It's, it's money you can, you know, no, you're, it's fair to point that out, because I actually did think of that earlier, but I was like, I don't know what to say. Hopefully they won't notice, and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thought just crossed my mind, I was like, wait, hmm, someone from Zillidia here? Okay, but gotcha. Uh, last room. Door number three. Bash it down. Okay, another, another room. Alright, investigation. Oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, roll that D100 and D250 again. 
Oh my god. Okay. Elden's gonna get like so much like gear. <laughs> How evil can he get? Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, you find 71 credits. Wait. And wait, it's not like just what you rolled before. Close. What did you roll before? 163. Uh, yeah, 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 163, okay. yeah. Uh, so 154. So 71 credits. Okay, this one. What is this thing? Good Mm, let's see. Okay, you find... How do I explain this? Um... Like a, like a, like some sort of, like, kind of gun-like weapon that, like, shoots like a net. Oh. Ooh. That could be handy. So, basically... I don't know what to call this. Um, I don't know, net gun or something. So you... Um, that kind of works. You, as an action, you can shoot uh, the net. It has to be... Uh, the range is 20 feet. Um, and the target must succeed a DC 15 deck save or become restrained. Nice. Deck save or be restrained. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, we're all ranged, so that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Now, if everyone were, now, we, you know, if we ever need to restrain something in the unlikely event, we'll be able to. Huzzah! Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like these people left in a hurry, leaving all their stuff behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we get to profit because of it. Yep. Hail to the Zelenian Empire. We're heading back down here. Hail. Yeah. Let's take a look at the inner chambers. Okay. Anna's not going to hail. She's just going to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> hail you. Anna baby. is... Uh, Anna, Anna is... Uh, <laughs> hail, Obi-Clan. Hail, Obi-Clan. <laughs> With confetti. Yay! Uh, which way are we going? To the left. Okay. To the left, Everything to the left. we own in the box to the left. <laughs> you must not know about me. <laughs> not you me. must not know about me. Shut up. I'll have another year in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are there any inner songs and is there any music playing <laughs> in, uh, down here? No. Huh. Actually, I, well, I just had an idea that doesn't make any sense. Nobody else would get what I'm, what the reference is. So, but uh, no. Yeah, sorry. Don't you right. feel special? I do. <laughs> um, sure okay, so Anna will just say. Last I remember, there were several Scudum gathered around here, um, at the mess hall. Yeah. So north here is the mess hall, and uh, mm, yeah, you actually even see some like, like. <laughs> like plates and trays and stuff like left on the table. Oh. Okay, can Anna just inspect and see how long ago that seems to be? Mm. The food. What would you roll for that? Just intelligence, um, I guess. Investigation. Sure. Back, yeah, okay. Investigation, investigation inside sure. or some kind of knowledge. I'll do investigation. Mm hmm Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, shit. I recognize uh, this bowl of porridge. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on, let me yeah. think. Um, she takes a spoonful and, like, lets it drip off. Judging that by the consistency, it clearly curdled 70 hours ago. Yeah, I'm thinking, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I will say... Oh, yes. I will say that you can tell it's about four days old. And for reference, you were here four days ago. Oh, uh, okay. 
Mmm. Okay. Memory. Interesting. That was a very mm. roundabout way to figure it out. I was trying to think of the exact number based on the no, long rest and transit that you've done. <laughs> so. Yeah, Anna relays that information and says, Consistency of this porridge? Well, four days ago, and we were last here when we shattered um, the the device mm. that amount of time ago. Yeah. So that means they must have left when we took over. Yeah, they probably got freaked out or something, and or they had no further reason to be here without being spotted um, by the Kofarians, and they just had to bolt, bolt out. Well, I guess that's settled then. We mm -hmm. won't really need to search the rest of the base for there's no one left here that still lets still get breathes. Well, we should go investigate the launch pad place, the 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 hangar bay, and see if we can find anything, any clues there. Yeah, that's the thing. The ship would launch for, or do mm -hmm. we maybe want to go back to the where the sphere was last last time? Yeah, we need look. to. I feel like we do still need to scope out this area because there clearly was someone that's more recent around mm. this part. Okay. Both excellent so, ideas, though, and you take points. <laughs> All right, we're going... Well, let me see. Is this a dead end? Yes. North is a dead end, yeah. Yeah, mm. okay. All right, we'll bounce back. Uh, to the left. Got it. To the left, to the left. Everything got horn in the box to the left. <laughs> we're, going. we're going. Um, and what's to the north here? Uh, yeah, there's a door, sort of one of those kind of airlock kind of doors that separates sort of this hallway from another room that you never looked down. Oh, what do you think? Peek down it, or I mean, off? yeah, we didn't look down last time because we were we didn't want to be trapped in a dead end while we were stealthing. Good thought. Does this door open at all? Uh, there's like a button to open it. I wonder if we need someone's thumb. Again. We still have identification, if needed, from the other... We have oh, yeah. the regular and we have the higher level, right? It, you do have that, but it's just like a basic door. You don't need like any identification to open it. It's just you have to, you know... Alright, push. Okay. Um, yeah, it opens and it reveals... Whoa. So looking in, you see kind of a pretty blank room. Um, <coughs> I'll say, you know, you'd probably be somewhat familiar with this kind of thing. The, this is this, it looks to you like some sort of training room. Uh, okay. Mm, this is it. Well. Guess it's good to have some yeah. discipline. Mm hmm. I will well, say, if you, had yeah. if you had tried to come in here when you were here the first time, you would have had a fight. But <laughs> <laughs> like you never went in here, so. Yeah. Good. Good for us. Right. Yeah, Anna's just like, well, we have that in Zelenia too, with, well, a little bit higher tech than this. Yeah. Not impressed, Anna says. Mm hmm. And she meets back up with Chad and Sudoku at the hallway. And it's like, ready to move on? Did you find anything interesting, Lassie? No, just looked like a blank and empty training room. If you remember, we have our own version at Zelenia. And we have the really um, the high-tech mm -hmm. version. Well, of course, holograms and whatnot. Yep. Well, I will go. Well, might as well just go on then. All right, going no. Uh, oh, well, should we try north again? Yeah. All right. What is here? Yeah. So this is a hallway that you never went down at all. You didn't even look down before. Um, oh. But. 
Whoa. See anything interesting over there? Uh... No, I have the wrong thing. Oh my god. I think some weird bad looking things. All right. Another door at the end here. Uh, right in here. Mm-hmm. Or well, oh. to the left where. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where the yellow is. Okay, got it. Yeah. Is there a button to open it? Yep. Open. Oh, the lever crunk. Wrong lever. Okay. Uh, you see. Whoa. Pretty. So this looks like. Ew. Sort of you know, another sort of bedroom situation, but there's multiple together. Mm, this must be where like, the lower rank slept. Yeah, it looks kind of gross. Well, investigation, let's see if they left anything behind. Yeah. And in, in this area, I'll, I'll, let, uh, this I'll, I'll let all of you roll investigation to try to find some stuff. All right, let's take a look. Okay, 23. 23. For Anna. 19 for Elden, 15 for oh. <laughs> Chad and Sudoku. Uno Segundo, uh. Twelve. Okay. Uh Sudoku roll a D fifty. Roll a d50. I know. Yeah, well, uh... There it is. Okay. Uh, you find 23 credits. Woo! Uh, Alright. The rest of you roll a d250. Right uh... <clears throat> Give me... A one. <gasps> Money! 207. 222. Oh. 222. And 68. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's just go in order. Uh, oh, order of numbers. Okay. So. Ooh, wait, this actually might be really nice for Elden. Hey. <clears throat> Considering. <sighs> oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Elden, you find, uh, some, I'm gonna call them dash boots. Okay. <laughs> How this is gonna work is that, um, Whenever, basically, you're, like, running, like, away from an enemy and they have an attack of opportunity, um, they have disadvantage. Ooh. Dash boots. Oh, right, Elvin's gonna put those on real quick. Alright. We're running. Okay. Chad with a 207. Oh, fu uh, I can't give this to you. Nope. Uh, sorry. <laughs> well, wait, well, what, Talisman what, 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 of what, ultimate what, good. What, <laughs> Staff of the Magi. <laughs> what? No! I can't. Come Jesus. I cannot give that to you. Um, what roll does it again. do? Uh, let me, okay, hold on. I'm gonna just, like, screenshot the fucking text for this. It's so long. Oh my Let me just God. say, this is literally one of, like, the most fucking broken- It doesn't even fit all on the screen. That's how much <laughs> there is. Zoom out and screenshot. That's okay. like a fucking, like, it's level like... 20 wizard item. That's like a legendary item. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I just found a fucking rocket launcher. Yeah, so nuke. I'm not giving you that. Uh, roll again. <laughs> Please. No. God damn it, I want that. <laughs> okay. No, so you're not allowed it's... to be Moses. Right, you can't use mm -hmm. that. Huh. Okay, so this this was with me zoomed out and also at full screen. I could just barely get all of it on screen. 
<laughs> the match height. This staff can be wielded as a magical core staff that grants plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with yada yada yada. 50, 50 charges. charges for a whole shit ton of spells. Yep. Damn. You can also absorb but spell attacks that come at you. Um, oh. And also, you can break the staff to basically cause fuckloads of damage. Um, Whoa. Literally, again, if you're close to someone, it's eight times the number of charges in the staff, so you could do 400 damage. <laughs> wow. It's, a, it's so a good thing that, like, both Ana and uh, and Sudoku don't know about it, because they'd be salivating. I, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just not... No, roll again. I'm not giving you that. Okay, 155. Wait, isn't that actually what they just fucking rolled? We had 154. Mm-hmm. You get the... the lesser staff of yeah. the Magi. <laughs> okay, oh, wait. Hmm, what's this one? Ah, no, not that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, apparently, if he... Wow, if spell Chad... absorption, saving throws against spells. If Chad had that, he, w he would go from Yeehaw American Soldier to, like, fucking Gandalf or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um... Oh, you know, I'm a fighter wizard multiclass. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Um. Hmm. You were Fighter 7, okay. and now you're Fighter Chad, 7, Wizard 20. You find. It almost. It's like an orb. Um. It's like, you know, it kind of fits in your hand. Um. That looks like it's made of amber. Amber orb. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Takes away staff of, of Magi, gives you Dragon Orb instead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that, and then 222. Two, two. Please, something not broken. <laughs> oh my god, it's another wizard weapon. Wait. <laughs> 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 This is like, okay, this sounds like really fucking cool, but at the same time, like, this light might also be broken as shit. Oof. Mm. Oh. Okay, um. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I'll say you find some sort of attachment for, like, your glasses. Um, and what it does is basically any, any sort of spell, like, attack you do um, when you roll a hit for a spell, um, it's plus one. Solid. That's cool. So it's like, yeah, I increase my depth perception somehow even yeah. better than it normally is. Yeah. Yeah, spell attack rolls uh, are plus one to hit. All right. I'm just going to write that down. I think there is a way if you have, like, some spell macros to put that in there. Yeah, I think so. But I'm not sure, so. Yeah, I can hard code a one. Yep. Yeah, okay. Because trying to remember that every time is going <laughs> to forget. What is it actually called? Uh, I'm just gonna write down. Sh yeah, uh, bonds, but... wand of the war mage. <laughs> that sounded really good. Yeah. Well, the I thing is, there's that. there's there's multiple strengths of it. Oh yeah. Um, okay. It can actually be up to plus three, <laughs> but I'm not gonna give you that now. <laughs> Fair. Depth perception clip ons is what I'm calling it. On it. Cool. I feel cheated. <laughs> I'm not giving you the best item in the fucking game, dude. <laughs> Did I said oh. I was to have it. I must have it, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am god of this world. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Fine, I'll argue with you there. <laughs> All right. And besides, you got an item that we don't know it could have limitless potential. Exactly. You don't know what that thing does. You have a good point there. 
It could still be really good. Actually, you know uh. what? Mm. <laughs> really left in a hurry. I will say, in terms of this item says it calls it legendary in terms of the item. Ooh. Um, it's clearly not as good as Staff of the Magi, but it yeah. does have a, a use that is quite handy, but you have to kind of know what it is, so. Acceptable. <laughs> Alright, ready to move on? Yeah. I okay, still think we've gone as north as we can go, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright, then we shall head back to the south. Let's go. Let's go back south. Oh my. To the south we go. Come on, Cap Girl. You can't move your own character token, but uh, I'm I'm moving for you. It's all good. So there was an airlock to the very south. Yep. Like southwest corner that we took a look at <laughs> but we didn't open because we didn't we had it other was a, Yeah, it was a, it was mm -hmm. a cold storage room. Well, if there's any bodies, they would be stored here. So oh, that's a in? pleasant thought. Let's open it. <laughs> <laughs> going in? Is there a button? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, it's going in at least. Um, and so you do see um, that there are several these like white things in the room. Mm -hmm. Kind of look like, I don't know, washing machines or something. Um, they are these like sort of containers that you can sort of open up and see what's inside of them. Do any of them smell? No. Okay. Anna opens one up. Top left corner. Um, you find a... Uh, wait, shit, what's it called? You find a potion of superior healing, basically. This is the third, so this is the third, the third level potion or whatever. Mm. Which is, uh, Specialty med spray, gimme. Yeah, what is that? Wow. Is it 8d8? You're serious? It's superior. <laughs> What's the level of it? 8, it says 8d4 plus 8. Okay. Damn. Superior is, yeah. Because there's, yeah, healing, greater healing, superior, and supreme healing. So, yeah, this is superior. Mm. Supreme. Okay. Yeah, cool. Got it. Anna just motions over and says, uh, want to check out the storage? There's a few of these containers. There were. All right, which way do we go on the map here? South? Uh, top, far, or, far southwest left, corner. Actually. Yeah. Southwest, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like three more containers. All right, well, we'll take this one. Uh, investigation. No, oh, well, you, you just open it. You just open it and you find another potion, basically superior healing. Love it. Else want to come in? Sure. Can I look in one of the boxes? <laughs> mm hmm. You find Potion of Superior Healing. <laughs> Hooray! There's one more in the Fort Mimic. What I, I think you did good out there. <laughs> Elden, you should have Thank the honor. <laughs> I already got one. Yeah, are you sure? Do you have like, another one? Please, I insist. Okay. <laughs> oh, so you're giving yours to Elden? 
He wants you to open the last one. Tell. Basically, <laughs> you don't trust me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, sorry. Wait, you open it? I open it. Post of Superior Healing. <laughs> you know, you open yeah. the top of the Magi. <laughs> he kind of gives it up to the uh, Elden, Elden Hands, like, holds the Potion of Superior Healing out to, or the Superior Med Spray to Cat. Well, you, we all have one. Do you want one? You opened it. You keep it. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Out of, out of game comment here. So, when you were here the first time and you looked in and I'm like, it's cold storage and there's nobody in there. You were like, okay, we're gonna not go in there. And I'm like, I literally put potions in there for you to heal before the boss and you didn't go in. Oh my god. So... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you never guess. No, you never quite know what your player's gonna do. I know, but you haven't. And I didn't want to be trapped in cold storage. Oh my god! Of all places, it's not our fault we're like this. Actually, yes, it is our fault. It's Scopey's mm -hmm. fault. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I blame the Zelenian military for for you. I don't, I'm not quite sure whose fault uh, Elden is yet. Although part of it is becoming the Zelenian military and experience. All right. Anything? You dare speak ill of the Zelenian Empire. Uh, it's not ill, man. It's just. Man, your service is taking a toll. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we could have such a clear and cogent discussion about this very serious topic. No, 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 I no, think no, no. the cold has gotten to your head. <laughs> oh, wait, Let's is this go. character? Ah, uh, yes, argued like a true politician. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> someone, <laughs> sir, someone tries to make a point. No, 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 no. No, shut up. I didn't hear you. <laughs> no, 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 I can't hear you, can't hear you, can't hear you. In politics, this is called a filibuster. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I would say voided, but this was a way too in interesting of a conversation. <laughs> it happened. All right, time to so, find the MacGuffin. Let's go. Yes. The Holy MacGuffin. Let's turn the corner. Holy Tyler. Don't long. To the Lonely Mountain? Mm-hmm. Well, the hangar's to the right, but should we check up to see on the crystal first? I mean... Yeah. Okay, we go south. Then east. So, the bodies of all these scooters, mm. those are gone too? Yep. Okay. But that's just the way it goes now, isn't it? Yeah. Can Anna enter into that chamber? Mm-hmm. It was made this way. We can't help it. Okay. Uh, and make an investigation check once you're in there. Just okay. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, anyone else joining? We're just on a... Yeah. I'll make an investigation <laughs> check as well. Come on. Three. Time. This is why I don't try. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Oh. I'm gonna get a natural 20 on both of them. We've got the double nat ones, so yeah. gotta get Eight. the other side. 15. Wait, why are we tilted? Hang on. Huh? Oh, you're tilted. You're tilted? That's because you had too much to drink. Well, now you're aligned, but there was a moment where you were... turned. Your chakras were all out of balance. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I don't know how much chakras I'm gonna do. Uh, Sudoku's, I don't know, looking at her own nose. Uh, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, uh, the rest of you, you kind of in, you see definitely the sort of large glass, you know, orb that was holding the shard, uh, is, you know, is still destroyed. Um, and 
Uh, however, um, Elden and Anna, you notice that like, even though there is sort of sort of kind of sh shattered like glass pieces kind of around, it does look like it's been cleaned up a little bit, as if like someone was kind of in here, sort of looking around, uh, and mm. had to you know move things out of the way mm. just so they could Fix like some... you know get a closer look. However, it doesn't look like anything has been taken or messed up besides that. I forget uh, were the two the the last person and their pet. Mm -hmm. Did they have corpses that fell? Uh yes. Um they're also not here. Okay. Hmm. And that pet thing was kind of big, so that would speak to a larger party of people to move it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> someone was here to clean up the trash. Mm-hmm. It's just going. Taking out the trash. Taking <laughs> out the trash. Ah. Yeah. Garbage. Was there anything behind this corner? Um, Anna just looks to the upper left part of the room. Because I think this might be where the pet came from. That is where the pet came from. Uh, there's nothing really of note there. It's just... Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I just specifically hit it when you first came into the room before, just so the pet coming out was kind of a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, it was. All right. Well, for the most part, nothing seems that surprising. Want to go to the hangar? Yeah. Let's see what we find. And we might we might pass by Mister Swole. Uh, if the if the if what's her ass and the pet do and her like like eel pet thing are gone, then. Well, I don't know if Swole will be there, but, well, we can see. Mm -hmm. So Anna goes back to that, um, the corridor where there was, like, a T-junction. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start going east from that towards the hangar. Mm-hmm. So it looks like there's um, some more airlock rooms that we didn't go into, though. Mm -hmm. The first one, is there a button? Um, there is, but uh, there's sort of like, I don't like an error noise. Um, mm. There is like a, a little mm, window that you wrong. can. There is like a little window mm -hmm. that you can see, and from what you can see in, it basically looks like, sort of. <laughs> like a some sort of like elevator kind of lift platform, but it's like it's kind of like damaged and uh, you know you couldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to use it. Uh, okay. Yeah, Anna's like this one looked like it might not have survived any blast or something. Mm -hmm. Something's okay. wacky with this. So we're going back this way? Yeah, can we take a look at that second room? Wait, Elden, where are you? Phasing through the walls. Yeah, really. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, the yeah, second yeah. one, a pretty similar situation. Um, also looks like it was... Oh, no, wrong one. Also looks like it was sort of a messed up uh, kind of lift situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, you know, out, of, out of game explanation is if you remember, like, when you set off the alarm and the scootum kind of came at you, um, yeah. they came from here. So, that's where they came from. Oh. Yeah, interesting. But you don't have a use for it now. Gotcha. All right, well, we know where the hangar was. So, oh. let us turn the corner. We're going back down south, right? Uh, yeah, it's like east, that east, east room. first, but yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's the room east of you, but you're getting stuck in the wall. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, as you enter this room, uh, again, you can do uh, in, an investigation check. Uh, 
a 24 again. Again, the hangar bay where it says clear. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see what I get. Oh. Oh, you, you, oh you clicked it twice. I'll be nice. Like, yeah. you I'll give you that 20. Yay! Since I wasn't nice before. Okay, um, <coughs> yeah, so, did everyone roll, or, is that- Yeah, I'm gonna roll, invest, I'm gonna roll another one, just had to bring my sheet up again, because I accidentally closed the game. Okay, 24. Yeah, so everyone, again, it, it, when you come in here, it looks, again, kind of the same as it was before. Um, there's a few mm -hmm. kind of scattered stuff kind of in the corners. Um, but there is this space in the middle. Um, however, uh, Sudoku, you notice that actually kind of in the middle, uh, there are some, like, basically some kind of scorch marks. And you would recognize that that would be from, like, if a ship had, like, just taken off and, you know, it kind of burned, like, you know, the ground as it took off. Um, and you recognize then, again, those being pretty recent. Definitely you know, noticeably more recent than, you know, four days ago. Hmm. Go to a point and just... Looks like somebody didn't clean up after them. Well, then we'll hone in on the skid marks. As... So, someone was here recently. Looks like it. No. But we've no idea who... Well, like, um... There's the... Hangar Bay have any like log of who lo of who like comes it came in or did they have to use an access code to get to open the door or anything like that? Mm. So I guess you can see there's like a computer that's kind of like right north of Chad, mm -hmm. um, and the computer it does have some sort of a log, but it it basically stops with you know four days ago. Ah, <clears throat> uh, so no one they didn't bother to log in. How rude. Hmm. So, they left in a hurry, but someone was here recently, and all the bodies were picked up. <laughs> oh, wait, Earth. also, yeah, so, uh, is this, like, a space where a ship could come down in, like, it would land here? If it's a and small then... enough ship, yeah. Okay. The ship, would, like, our size ship fit in this? Uh, uh, I'll say yes. Okay. Since again, your ship is not that impressive. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be like the one where we were escorting the Kofarian in. Correct, that's way too big. Okay. Okay, so someone came down here like you said to basically probably get all the bodies and then it must have been a decent off. yeah a decently small team that did that yeah uh, or but i'm wondering what else they took besides bodies i mean and that seems like an awful risk to flee in a hurry and then come back and grab bodies so Either scoot them really value burying or honoring their dead, or uh, tell there was something here that they didn't want found. But it wasn't human because the, or well, it wasn't scoot them or anything big because the uh, Kafarians didn't find it. But they didn't, they were only looking for scoot them. They might not, they might have passed over whatever it is the scoot them came back for and not made any note of it. You're talking I, about when the when the Kofarians cleaned out the place. Sent their, well, they when they they didn't well they just sent their drones in here to look for Scutum, and they if they didn't find yeah. them, then they might have passed over whatever the Scutum came back for. Wait, they sent the drones to look for Scutum. Mm-hmm. And that was, but that, that was about like three days, four ago. days ago. Mm -hmm. So the bodies were already gone. 
that time. Mm -hmm. So they were gone early. Yeah. So whatever left here happened after the body's already gone. Entirely possible. Weird. Mm hmm. Well. Yet. Hmm. Uh, let's see, is there anything? No. I will say, as of now, you've gone through every room in the basement. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, I guess okay. we guess we found a lot of nothing except that someone was here recently. Someone really was here recently. So, and, I mean, well, and superior healing potions and orbs and credits and whatnot. So, huh? It wasn't a total waste of a trip. Actually, it really wasn't a waste. It really was a productive trip. Overall, just you know, maybe a little bit less fruitful and melodramatic than I would prefer. I mean, yeah, we needed to be, we were coming to this mountain area for multiple reasons anyways. Yeah. That's true. <coughs> Alright, so are we ready to head back to the Kofarian city? I guess that sells that then. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, well, if you're, again, if you're trying to, uh, you could sort of, like, call your ship, basically, to pick you up here. I'll just do Ooh. that. So, you can... Hitch it around. ship now. Yeah, we have a ship. Yeah, you'd be your first time on yeah, the ship. Yeah, you haven't seen, yeah, you haven't seen the interior. We've got to, it out. We have to come up with a good name. Sudoku came up with a name, I think. <laughs> no. No, she did not. I have a feeling <laughs> I know what it is. I have a feeling I know what it fucking is. Spill it. I remember Sudoku came up with a name when we were forced to state our business. Yeah, oh well, yeah. What was the name, uh, Anna? Well, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, it was Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> okay. Oh, is... oh I, I thought she was going to name it something like The Friendship. Oh, Ooh. no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be perfect. Oh, it I would. Remember. I can't dig that much cringe out of my soul. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just can. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so you're gonna get in the ship and mm -hmm. head back to... Mm -hmm. I guess... I guess you could head right back yeah. to the sort of hangar you landed in mm -hmm. before. <laughs> yeah. Then we can go and distribute the our... goods. Well, once we land there, we can just press the drone button, right? And a drone will show up. Will it show up to us, or will it just be go to the door? Well, no way to... We'll find out. Yeah, exactly. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. See if they paid for two-day shipping. <laughs> Okay. Or maybe we should start charging based on danger and how long it takes us to do it. <laughs> uh, yes, hazard pay. Yeah. yeah. I'll pull up the flat rates around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, you are. <coughs> excuse me. You're back in the Kafarian uh, city. And, yeah, okay, so, well, from the hangar, I'm curious, so from the hangar in this, by the city, is there just, like, one door? Like, to leave out of the hangar? To get out? Yes. Yeah. Alright, Anna will just be on the inside, right inside the door, and she's curious, but she'll click send drone for all three <laughs> of the deliveries at the same time. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> okay. 
Mm-mm. So you wait like about a minute, and um, then after that you hear like a little bit of a noise, and the door sort of quickly slides open, and three droids come in like basically like single file, like right after each other. <laughs> no, of course, they do. no jostling on Kofaria. <laughs> But all they're right, like, so they're they like do right have some motion other. sensor. Cool. <laughs> and then they all—they're not gonna fight for a position. Good. <laughs> and they all say, um, basically, um, ready to receive requested item. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very, very, yeah. So, uh, yeah, shit. We'll I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't that mean to do that. that was was fine. That's fucking disgusting. And oh. perfect. <laughs> 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 Ready to receive item, that item. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. Various gaseous chemicals instead. <laughs> mm. Like you literally see the drone take out some like a test tube or something and starts analyzing the composition. <laughs> Analysis. <laughs> um Yeah. So the, the first one in front of you says, requesting two Sturge Spines. Mm. And over the Sturge Spines. Mm -hmm. There you go, slotting them in. Mm -hmm. Or I guess it's like a massive amount of spines. So, it has, taking like, it all like, up. I guess it's like holding like a box, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, it just sort of gets them in the box and says, and says, items acknowledged, payment processed. And then just flies away. Ooh. So you each get 250 credits. Yay. There we go. I am. And then the second one immediately kind of comes forward and says, um, <laughs> says, requesting one Oblast Core. Ah, yes, this one. Bad memories of the Oblast. Well, mm -hmm. I want to get rid of this. Yeah, Take it, has, it. It has sort of a box, puts it in the box and says, um... I already forgot what I just said with the previous one. Fuck. <laughs> Let's try to be consistent. <laughs> um, oh. Item accepted. Payment processed. And then flies out. Woo! Thanks. And the next one comes in. Um, requesting five Pockle Shells. Hand over the five Pockle Shells. Pockle Shells. Pockle Shells, yeah. This is Items accepted. Payment processed. And then flies out. So in total, mm -hmm. we each got... Uh, 500 credits. In total. Yay! Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Is that, like, total from the from those two? From, from all, all three. three. All three, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you breaking? I dropped a thing. Don't worry about it. Stop okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Not bad Weird. for a day's work, wouldn't you not say? Not bad at all. Yeah. It was all right. Yeah, not too shabby. Okay, last thing on the list is we just need to um, do a transport from Kofaria, once we're ready to leave, to Entia. A All what right. do we know about the planet Entia, if anything? Uh, make Na a nature roll, nature or history. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Twelve, <laughs> double not <that> eighteen. One. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, nature or history? You said nature or oh. history. Nineteen. Okay. Um. <laughs> So you all know that Entia is a planet that is, like, 99% water. Um, it's not like, so again, Zelenia, for example, is a full-on ocean planet. It's just that a city's been built on top of that. Entia mm. is more like Earth, where, like, the ocean is, like, not, like, super, super, super deep, but it covers much more of the landmass. Um, mm. But there are some kind of scattered islands kind of around, kind of all over the place. Um, so there's not like there's not like a single continent. It's just sort of there's some land kind of everywhere, but it's not mm -hmm. a lot. Um, mm -hmm. gotcha. It is a mostly kind of more tropical and warmer uh, climate, but again, it can get cold like at the poles. And I will say, 
Elden and Chad um, know that, again, the sort of main species there are, of course, the Entians, who are, um, they are, mm, they're amphibious like the Zelenians, but they are more, they like, their civ civilization is underwater, like, um, mm. but they can still, like, come onto <laughs> land, but they can't stay, like, up there for very long. Mm hmm All right, very interesting. Well, do we summon a drone to see, summon what we're delivering, or do we go pick it up? Well, there is a request drone button. Want to click it? Let's do it. Click. Okay. Yep. So about a minute later, another drone comes in, um, again holding a box, um, saying. Cargo bound for Entia. Please accept. Payment will be processed upon completion. Um, accept. We accept. The drone will sort of give the box to Anna. How heavy is this box? Mm, make an athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to assist. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, let's just see what Already she gets. Already assumed. Okay, let's let's see what she gets first. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty fucking heavy. <laughs> okay, Elden, you can come to me assist if you want. Or oh, other people. Right, that, that was a reflex. Okay. <laughs> uh, Elden, go on. Yeah, I'll do it. Um. Well, I'm all over the Anna and the Bad Athletics. Name more iconic duo. Besides no. Anna, besides Anna and the Bad Stealth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drawing failure. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, okay, I forgot over 12. The 19. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, together, you sort of, both, like, Chad and, and Eldon sort of kind of, like, jump forward a bit That's and kind of help you, like, not, you know, <laughs> collapse. Um, so. That's yeah. appreciated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, so this box, gotta make sure we don't break it. Mm -hmm. Understood. Yeah, it'll say, uh, let me just check something. Yeah. It says, no smells or anything? Um, no. Um, no movement? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> okay. and, the, and the drone will say, please live here, deli deliver goods to McCrawl. McCrawl, got it. Okay. Keep that in mind. <laughs> um, appreciated drone. The drone just says again, payment will be processed upon completion, and then it flies out. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, Anna's like, well, yeah, I mean, when we're ready to get to, you know, leave Kofari and go to Enya, I guess yeah. we can do this delivery. Indeed. Yep, you gonna, yep. Are you going to do that, like, now? I go do the travel. Yeah, I mean, but basically, if, if, if this, you know... I was thinking this could be the last thing we do for the session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I can't think of anything else that I want to do in Kafari because it's like... Uh, it really kind of felt like S didn't have a... I don't know how to describe it, but like a horse in the race for really what happened in the garrison. So I don't really think there's any need to actually talk to him about it. He's so stupid. no one likes him. <laughs> He's working in office. Uh, yeah. So I like Anna's ready to go. So was Jade. Okay, everyone's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Ready to go. Yep. Okay, and then <coughs> we'll head up into the ship, and we will do some transporting. 
So, um, so make your d20 rolls for your experience. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Does this get advantage? Um, mm, yeah, <laughs> sure, what the hell? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, you get another dot. Uh, uh, Wait, literally, Anna's the best at reading. She's gotten three <laughs> nat 20s on reading a book. <laughs> okay, so we oh. have... Yeah, so... Sudoku gets seven. Uh, Elden gets 14. 14. Uh, Chad gets 12. And yeah, Anna gets 20. The success range is now 18 through 20. Yeah, you still haven't even tried to use it yet. Um, okay. Uh, can I have everyone make a perception check? Here's one very advantage. Hi, Claire. Oh, come on. L do it. Yeah. Uh, I was making sure that my point numbers were accurate. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <Okay. laughs> Talk about low. Um, okay. Uh, don't notice anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> That's encouraging. Okay. Um, all right. D10 rolls. Oh, oh my God. someone's not going to get chosen. Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Alright, so, you're flying along, uh, over Tordentia, and suddenly, um, you see a sort of purplish kind of tear in front of you, and you seem to sort of fly through almost like a portal. Uh, here we go. You uh -oh. enter what seems to be, like, a corridor, like a metal corridor. Um, mm -hmm. that somehow, like, the ship can fit in. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, it's like, you don't see any, it's just featureless corridor. It's a metal corridor. There's metal around you, but it, it's not, there's no, like, windows or anything else. It just looks like metal. Um, however, okay. somehow, again, your ship is, of course, moving really fast. Um, these, like, metallic sort of tentacle arms seem to sort of <laughs> descend onto the ship from above. Mm -hmm. And again, they somehow keep pace with you, which doesn't seem to make any sense. Um, oh. And they just like, almost like like too easily, just like peel away part of the roof of the ship. Oh, um, that's, my, that's our ship. <laughs> and they reach can down. Can I make any like piloting? Hmm. You can try. Okay, so I'm going to make a um, intelligence uh, piloting check to escape the f whatever these are. Um, here, I'm just gonna roll it. Oh, what do I think? How does this work? Oh, so, when you get a set of tools, like Oh no, the carpenter tools helps me fix the ship, not pilot a ship. Uh, yeah, I'll do this driving. If you want to just do, like, if you're doing an intelligence-based thing, you could just roll intelligence. That's true. It's the same idea, basically. Yeah. Ooh! 23. So you do seem to, you know kind of zigzag around and maneuver quite well, but the arms hold steady, and they're just, again, it's almost, it's as if the arms are reacting as if, like, nobody's even moving at all. Um, mm. 
they just follow everything perfectly. And they seem, not only okay. they sort of peel away at the roof, but then they reach down toward Chad. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> and they <laughs> grab onto Chad. And one of the arms, like, like goes into your body. <laughs> oh, I hate it here. No. I hate it here too. Can I make like a dexterity check to like catch it or do something? Uh, you can try. All right, uh, dex save. Or no, dex check because I'm, I'm not. Just not you mean it like just like skewers him? <laughs> it just it goes into his body, and th the thing is, Chad, you like don't feel anything. 18 or 16. So are you trying to like kind of like grab on and like what are you trying I'm to trying do? Trying to like get uh trying to make trying to bat the metal arm thing away from him. Um it does sort of like, you know, I mean, you know, if you kind of hit at it, it does sort of like respond, you know, like physically as if it was kind of hit, but it keeps doing what it's supposed to do. It keeps keeps working on Chad's body doing something. <laughs> um and again, it looks like it would be really painful, but Chad, you don't feel anything. Um, and then after like a little bit, the arms sort of let you go. They go up. They literally like they sort of like peel the not peel, but like they basically pull the roof of the ship back down, and like somehow it's like perfectly sealed, and they disappear. <laughs> Where are they? We there's so many weird things happen in space. So Wait, they can't hear you scream or laugh. Uh, well, that was an experience. So Chad, yeah, you okay? Enough, not only, of course, did you not feel anything in the process, but you actually feel like good. Like you feel better. I have been rejuvenated. So okay, here's this is gonna work. <laughs> so remember how in Limbo, like everyone, I gave everyone like two points to increase like intelligence, uh, wisdom, or charisma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. In this instance, Chad gets two points to increase his strength, dex, or constitution. Ooh, Ooh. very cool. Strength. Nice. Mm. And again, this is a permanent. So we all had our moments of tentacles in the previous session, and now Chad gets one too. Yeah, so this, is a, this is a permanent upgrade. Yes. Cool. The power of tentacles. Mm -hmm. I will never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, uh, you know, right at that, you just sort of again a purple sort of tear opens up, and you end up right in front of Entia. Ooh. Okay. Well, back to our regular schedule scheduled programming. Yeah, okay, no. but Anna will at least ask Chad, like, so you don't feel possessed or anything? It literally looked like it was seeping into your entire body. Yeah, I hope I can forget what it looked like <laughs> soon. <laughs> Says all, all Elden comments. <laughs> he's gonna look at both Anna and Elden, and he's gonna ch chuckle. Good soldiers follow orders. <laughs> no! Elden, like, pulls a rifle on you. Yeah, Anna oh, braces oh. herself, and she's like, hold up there. <laughs> Say that one more time. I don't think I will. Sure, have seen Good. those new faces. Okay. Elden, like, kind of growls and laughs at the same time. <laughs> and then I want, I'll, and then I want to take my pistol. And I want to shoot him with a foot for his insolence. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? No! Oh, well, that's my foot. I need that to walk on ships. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the only reason you need a foot. <laughs> I need okay, him to I'm walk right. on ships and to show fir firmly up your rectum. Jesus. <laughs> questions. A, do you accept this? And B, does it hit? Um, I don't accept. So let me see if I can do a dex check to dodge. 
Well, if you don't accept it, it's then you don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, accept, I'll avoid so, it if yeah. uh, you don't accept it. <laughs> oh, uh, no, okay, actually, I'll, PvP, I'll take it PvP I'll take requires, I'll it. PvP requires consent from all parties involved. <laughs> yes, I, I, got it. I consent. Yes. Okay, you consent. Mm -hmm. We have a consention. Okay. Yes. So are you consent. Trying to, if you try to do a deck <laughs> save, then okay. Run. It's like he mixed consent. Deck save to like get my foot out of the way. Oh. No. Nope. <laughs> oh wow. Oh god. Uh, okay. It's okay. I just used a pistol. I didn't use the rifle. God damn it, Michael! Oh. What, what's with you and shooting your party members? <laughs> I don't know. It's a running gag. Wow. <laughs> and it's oh, usually God, always a over. officer. <laughs> oh, yeah, remember Pregorth? What the fuck? Pregorth <laughs> 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 had it coming. Oh, <laughs> You pulled a gun, but it's not for your officer. I am a sergeant! Whoa. Right wow. after you just basically... Yes, okay, damn. Right after you basically just threatened with the whole thing about being mind-controlled. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Reform. It's fun. Oh my god. It's... <laughs> okay, uh, here, let's, let's, yeah, let's try to finish, let's try to finish this up kind of quickly. Um, okay, so, your being sort of pointed down toward one of the islands um an nts specifically it actually looks like one of those like um what is oh, oh, oh mm, let me let me find a picture um oh here we go yeah, yeah it looks like it's it's this it's this kind it looks like this Oh. Ooh! It's, yeah, that's cool. Like a lagoon or something. Mm -hmm. Wow. Dude, it looks nice. Yeah. It's called the Great Blue Hole. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> like IRL? That's or... IRL, yeah, that's a real thing, and it's called the Great Blue Hole. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I don't remember where it is, but yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so you... Um, you kind of are lit down to that. Um, and you see that there is, um, as your ship kind of gets down towards, I don't know if that's simply land, but um, it, uh, um, you see actually a, an Entian basically sort of swim up from the water and kind of pull themselves up onto land. Okay. Yes, we will land and um, let's haul the box out between us. Yeah, are you Mick Mick Cray? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Uh, you mean McCrawl? Yes. McCrawl. Yes. <laughs> Delivery yeah. from Kofaria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, they. They got some, apparently they were going to uh, send over some of their uh, unique Kofarian gems to the royal family. Mm. So what does that make you like? Are you one of the royal family or the royal family butler or what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, oh, I'm, I'm a 387th in line to the throne. So you are royalty, just, yeah, just royalty. Come you on, have I solid chances of making it to the throne. He just rolls your eyes at you and is like, yeah, yeah, whatever. This mm -hmm. is over with. Alright, well, here you go. Yep, we, yeah, here are the gems. Alright, thank you. And he just sort of takes it and then just, like, uh, just, like, immediately sort of jumps back into the, into the, into the water and dives down. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> Staples button. Yeah. And I think Elden's gonna check his credits. Yep, you each get <laughs> 100 credits. Hey. Oh, yeah. Cashing in. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, quest log updated. Um, all right, so um, the only place you have left basically is uh, in terms of quests is Zelenia. So mm -hmm. presumably you are going to head there next, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Going back home, okay. seeing if there's any updates. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's end this session with, again, the sort of last bit of transit to Zelenia, and then we'll stop. Um, Who the hell is mowing their lawn at like <laughs> ten and nine. Huh. That's. <laughs> I think it's an airplane. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Zelenia like transit. Okay. So, uh, in terms of trend, so again, going to Zelenia. Um, so again, uh, three things to do. First thing is experience. So do that roll. All oh, right. Uh, oh, fucking damn it. You hold on for this, <laughs> since you had the well. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll have this be advantage, but this is the very last thing of advantage that we're doing. <laughs> Next session is okay. not at advantage anymore. Take uh, advantage. All right, two. solid Eight. seventeen. Same. Okay, oh. and then eleven. Yeah, so eight for Chad, seventeen for Elden, seventeen for Anna, and eleven for Sudoku. Cool. Okay. The second thing, I'll make perception checks. Perception. I will make a perception check if that's what you wish. God damn it. Twenty-four. Oh, no, 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 it isn't. It's 11, because we're not doing... Uh, no, this is the last thing. Anymore. This is the last thing we're doing with advantage. Okay, so, so this... If, advantage? Okay, cool. I'm going to miss the advantage. <laughs> 22. Oh, wow. <laughs> so three of you rolled 19s. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Hmm. You know what? I'll be nice. Um... All three of you, while you're sort of pulling up from Entia and kind of thinking, you know, a ring is set course, um, you see what might be, again, you're not 100% sure about this, but it's sort of, again, like, so ships as they travel, like, you know, using the gravity drive to, like, you know, go faster than the speed of light, um, there is sort of like a signature sort of energy that you, that kind of comes, think like a, think like a, you know, like a, like a trail from a plane or whatever. Yeah. Um, it, you can kind of see like that. And so, you three notice one of those, um, and from just sort of your knowledge of, like, you know, kind of directions you've been going or whatever, um, it seems like that trail is lead going from Kofaria to Zelenia. So, the, the same path that we're going to. Well, yeah. you went from Kofaria to Entia to Zelenia. This seems to be going okay. straight from Kofaria to Zelenia. Wow. And it's, in, like, ahead of us? Uh, well, the ship had to have, like, passed by you a bit ago for the for to, for you to see the sort of trail now. Okay, so we just mm -hmm. see the trail, but you not... You see the... the trail, you don't see uh, the ship. okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. How do we know, just based on ship <laughs> exhausts or something in general, how long do trails stay? Uh, Four days. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> not that long. Oh, so we close. I'll say, like, on the time scale of hours. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. So it's not like they wow. it, well they could have but they don't it doesn't necessarily mean that it like passed by like a minute ago could be like a bit yeah yeah but yeah definitely time field hours not and how long did our trip to Entia take uh let me actually a few hours yeah let me double check the map because I think Entia is actually relatively close to Kofaria because Entia is oh no well. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I'll say it's like again. Th basically, this whole all of this is like almost a day at this point. So all that you've yeah, done mm -hmm. is almost a day. So again, the day will be oh. over once you finish this. So okay, and yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, catching back up to their trail, looking at the timelines. Decent shot. It's the same ship that we saw. 
Yeah, I think so. Let's try and make speed, make haste, and we'll go. Actually, let's, and let's message Hera to uh, intercept any ship going, like, from, like, the ship coming in from Kofari. We'll give her, like, the time to, like, the estimated time of arrival. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, you can do that. All right. Our fear, like, fearless leader, <coughs> we have something to report. <laughs> a, a ship has, like, a ship took off from the abandoned Scutum base. We're not quite sure what they took from there, but we have a trail of um, ship exhaust leading straight from Sofaria and headed to Zelenia. Please. Uh, we request that any ship coming from Kofaria or ship arriving within the same time frame be uh, detained or investigated, something. So that we can get there. Okay. Um, there's a few, like a minute or so that passes, and then there's sort of a response. I'm assuming this is like a text kind of message kind of thing. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. And it just sort of, after it just says, acknowledged. Got it. Well, at least you didn't say K. <laughs> Kate left, left you on red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, last thing we're going to do then for this session is again another transit event. Hopefully, you all roll. One of you at least rolls something that's short. <laughs> so, D10s. Oh. 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 Five. Oh, big range. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. No. That we can. This is fine. Uh. <laughs> um. Is it though? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you, as you're passing by, you know, going through, you get a distress signal. seems like it's again coming from a ship oh. and i will say okay. this is you can tell this is different from the distress signal where you found the uh drink machine mm. Mm. well either way we gotta check it out okay so you're just gonna so if you pull yourself out of you, you know the gravity drive pull mm. to, and you see a ship this ship looks well uh yeah again i kind of want to be quick about this so this ship does look damaged. And actually, okay, you know what? No, quickly do perception. Eleven. Yeah. Twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one. Fourteen. Twenty. Wow, 20. okay. Um, <laughs> so, you see the ship is damaged, but Elden and Sudoku, you see that, you can tell that some of this damage was, like, from the inside out. Oh. Dear. Something crazy must have happened inside the ship. Well, we'll have to go in, uh, we'll have to go in cautiously. So, I guess we'll pull up beside it and, or, like, venture in. Or up to its airlock and try and get in. I mean, do we necessarily have to go in? Yeah, there's a distress signal. Someone could be hurt or injured or stuck, and we have to go figure see what happened. And if not, we should know what. Like, why is there some random ship with this problem here? Then you go in. Okay. All right. So yeah, I Elvin's gonna go in. <laughs> and can he actually get inside the ship and sneak around, or? Um. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, do you, you can do stealth. Okay. Okay. Twenty, nice. Okay. Um. So you see, you do actually see, um. A few dead bodies. Mm. Um, and then at one point you kind of hear some noise, and you peek around the corner. And you see what looks like a small teddy bear Ooh. that's just kind of uh -oh. walking around. Huh. 
Hey there, buddy. You lost? <laughs> you okay? Um, it turns around and kind of waves at you. Oh. Elden will kind of awkwardly wave back with one hand. <laughs> and then, um... It started, you hear sort of another noise, kind of down like another sort of hallway or whatever. And <laughs> um, you turn and you see another kind of bear, but this one looks like it's made out of, like, meat. What? You. Like, okay. Like flesh meat. Ew. Mm -hmm. Oh, so not like raw meat, so, but it's like, it's like, not, like a, no, it's like a... raw, like raw meat. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, buddy, you dropped your skin somewhere. You, you hear a bit of a noise, and you turn to look at the one, uh, another the hallway. I'll say you're at, like, a four-way intersection here, and there's okay. like the normal teddy bear in front of you, there's the meat mm -hmm. one to the right of you, and then to the left of you now, you, you hear something, and you sort of turn and look, and you see there is, well, it's what looks like a little bear, but it's made out of ears. Uh... Uh? Oh dear, that's gross. By the way, I'm just saying, Chad's on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, I feel Elden like is on the ship right now. Yes, mm. yeah, I think so. I feel and... like Sudoku might have like wandered in there behind. Here you go. Okay, well, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> that's what you see, and they and all three start to kind of come towards you. <laughs> She'll be like, oh dear. Hi, Elden. You shouldn't be here by yourself. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's cute, but it's also slimy. Well, it's, well, like yeah. I don't, don't, don't pet that one. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh, we come in peace. Um. <laughs> I was looking at the normal teddy bear. What happened to your buddies, buddy? Uh, they just I mean, keep, we, we, all, we, th all three of them keep walking towards you. Maybe we should get out of here. Uh, <laughs> but the, but why was there a distress signal? We need to figure out why. Did you press it? Did you press it? Did you press it? <laughs> they keep coming. <laughs> mm. right, you know, Elvin's going to stride forward and, uh, and uh, pick up the normal one. Ooh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Can I roll an insight check on the bear? Like, the, the normal one. Yeah. Because the other ones are obviously threatening. Alright, Sudoku, you dumb fuck. Come on, oh. Sudoku. Poor Sudoku. Hey, not oh, bad. Um, <coughs> you... Again, it looks normal, but... You just get a bad vibe. Okay. <laughs> My friend sense is tingling. <laughs> this is not a friend. <laughs> set, and uh, uh, Elda's gonna set the bear down. All right, well we're gonna like we're gonna go now, guys. We'll catch you later. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Jeez. come on, Sudoku. We're going back to the ship. Race you, and he starts running. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's gonna fucking run after him. Like no. Hey, Anna. You hear? What is this yeah. Button do disengage airlock. <laughs> She'll be like, "Last one to the ship is a meat bear." <laughs> or a bear. Yeah. yeah do go. we see the bears like chasing them? Um. Again, they they start to move faster, and you'll hear this kind of scraping noise. And Ooh. um, as sort of again, as Elden and Sudoku are sort of running down the hall, a a bear that's seemingly made out of like random scraps of metal drops down from the ceiling, like, right behind them. Oh, God! <laughs> right, keep running, keep racing! Don't want to be a meat bear. Nope, nobody wants to be a meat bear here! Ayana, hey, close the doors, I'm disengaging the airlock. Oh, okay, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. I, will, I will dive through the <laughs> windshield of our ship. I swear yeah. to God, Chad, I will scratch <laughs> up your furniture and pee on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> God is like... Okay, door closing. You two, like, uh, Sudoku, Eldon, you gotta jump to make it. Alright, we're going. <laughs> Why do you all say get so scared of? We were the ones in here. 
All right, jump. Okay. Uh, yeah, you make it and you pull <laughs> away as the you have the bears. Just all four of them now are just sort of kind of at the end of the airlock kind of thing, just sort of looking, watching you go <laughs> away. Hey, Elden, does this thing have guns? It could have guns. Does, does this ship some, have guns? It has some basic guns. Okay. Who's in? Who's? Uh, I guess. Am, am, I, am I just on the pilot control now? Am I flying this thing? I think so. I'm going to swivel the ship around. What? No! Oh! The guns. No! <laughs> <laughs> and then blast that ship to oblivion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I would have you roll for that. I guess. Oh, well, just like uh, just the laser, I guess. Yeah. I and I really gotta, go. and I really, um, I really gotta go pretty yeah, soon same. here. So, I don't know. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> the very Lord. first one was a crit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you blow the fuck out of the ship. Uh, Woof. and, <laughs> okay, last thing, make perception <laughs> checks. 19. Six or twenty-two, whichever one you want to take. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Anna, you're not sure, but as sort of the ship gets blown up or whatever, you think you might actually be able to see like the bears like in the wreckage, like being kind of blasted like away, but not blasted apart. Correct. Oh my god. You see that's Oh well, whatever, keep early. going. We need to go back to Co uh, to Zelenia. I'm sure that's not gonna come back to bite us. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, Elden, you're the one flying the ship. Get it, get in here, get in here. Yep, alright, Delvin gets in and pilots away. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I gotta commit a war crime today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I mean, they were made of ears, so they had it coming. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Next session, we arrive back in Zelenia, and we will hey. continue from there. Yes. Yes. All right. Ooh. Very cool. Ooh. I have one percent battery, so I was like wondering <laughs> right. if I was gonna get kicked off of this, but I guess <laughs> I'm still alive. Well, there we go. All right, catch you later, guys. Okay. okay. Right. See ya. Right. Good night, yeah, everyone. Good game, everybody. Yeah, good See ya. Games.